Yeah. Hi. Yeah, familiar. Yeah. Hi, Heavy Hoarder here. And today I am working on some fun stuff from in miniatures for my dollhouse project. And Nancy is uh, blowing me away with the stuff that she's doing for her room box. I call them room boxes. Is that right? Is that a good name? Yeah, it's a room box. Yeah, it's a room box. That's what I'm calling them, at least. So Nancy's going to let her start by because she is uh, way ahead of the game. I'm <laughs> just going to catch up here. So let's see what Nancy's got to show for us today. This weekend, I I worked on a few more items on my little room. Let me bring it closer. Okay. See it this way. There we go. I added this little canvas that I made. I, I used the the square dolls that I got and the the, the Dollar Tree canvas. I cut it down mm -hmm. and, and put it over it, and it actually slides over to reveal the TV. That's amazing. Wait, it actually. You can move it that way, or you can move it this way. Oh, and how did you do that? Do you have a hinge on that? Those hinges that, that I did. That yeah. I the doors. I put a hinge yeah. there and a hinge there. Oh, my gosh. So she, I should have opened that bigger for you. Hang on, y'all. Let me get back. her in big screen real quick. That's if I kind of do it. <laughs> can I do it? Yeah. Oh, that's me. You don't want me. Okay, we'll try one more try. Okay. <laughs> I want her. I don't want to make you big screen. I don't know. I don't know what to do. There it is. Yeah, I want to see how this thing works. The, uh, I want to really see the uh, the hinge on the... You got me looking for hinges yesterday, by the way, out in my junk drawer. <laughs> yeah, do that TV. I just love the TV. That Now, what you make the TV out of? Just wood? Yeah, just wood. Oh, the the, cool. the, the um, basketball cool. that I got from Amazon. Yes. I've been I've been cutting up a bunch of pieces and working oh, with it. Oh, that is awesome. It's so much better than the popsicle. And you stick. like, okay, that, and then which is that, what is that called again? The ba basswood. That's the basswood. Okay. Yeah. You can make a mini quilt out of paper for crafting too. Oh, that, that sounds beautiful. Um, I just wonder, like... Is it, you remember crepe paper? I mean, do we, they still kind of make crepe paper. I remember people making stuff out of crepe paper when I was a kid. Because it's soft. Yeah. So I, I got a little um, popsicle stick uh -huh. and a hinge. Right. And another popsicle stick. And then let's see if I can turn it. Mm -hmm. And you kind of use the hinge. And another hinge. Screw right it into, yeah. You screwed it into your wall and into your mm -hmm. piece. Okay. That looks so good, and then that is so precious. And, and from the, 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 the little, the other little supplies you get, you sent me. I used the little, the little beads for the knobs. Here. Oh, did you? Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. Do you want to? Um, we have a couple of things we want to show. I was just yeah. hi, hi to people. Nancy, thank you so much for jumping on. Nancy Smith, I'm glad to see you. And uh, Nancy's got a good idea. And it says you can make a mini quilt out of paper for crafting. And you know, there's so many adorable papers. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Kathleen just jumped in. We'll get you in a minute. And I've got a Stace that joined us. And poor Stace is running kind of slow today. Be slow at typing. Let's see. Putting butterfly stitches on my forefinger and thumb. Must try to share what? that. Stace, what is up? Goodness gracious, what have you done? And then we have uh, Robin is jump, jump, bleh, Mike's here. We'll get Mike, we'll get you. And this is, hey, lol, hey, Stace. Yeah, that's how, yeah, that's not good. Butterfly stitches, really? I mean, that's tape things, yeah. And so Robin is here. What did Robin, are you working today? Taking a little break from work? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what else? Oh, have I missed any? We've got Kathleen. Is, whoop, Kathleen has joined us. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us, Kathleen. And we have Mike. I said Mike. And we have, so we got some people jumping on and we're so happy to see y'all. Thank y'all so much for your support. And I'm going to put myself back into the screen because I forgot I wasn't in there. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, you can't work the computer. You know me. No, can't do it. I'm going to switch this around. Okay. So then I have, uh, I had a birthday. And I uh, got a little birthday money, but I'd already spent it. Anyway, my package came in, and I wanted to do a little opening of that stuff. And Nancy also has something. But today, I'm going to be working on some frames. And I picked up these little, just, I need some picture frames. So what I did, I was at Dollar Tree looking for things that people could easily get. And because that's what makes it fun. The easier it is to get, the more fun it is. So I did find these little wooden things. And boy, I hope this pops off. I don't know. You know how these things can be. They're glued on good. I like they said a stainless steel swarf is sharper than Gordon Ramsay's kitchen knives. 
Really? Ouch. Apparently, I need one of those. <laughs> and speaking of stainless steels, I don't know what they used to glue these on. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get them off without cutting myself. Yeah, I am kind of with you now. Wow, that is something. That about that knife. Stay. Oh, my gosh. I have. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so maybe I'm not going to do this because these are not popping. There we go. Oh, and it broke. Okay, so I broke the thing off. But yeah, so I'm going to use these for my little. Um, I, I use my heat gun to take those off. Really? Now you tell. Okay, I don't have a heat gun handy. Really? <laughs> but I have. Um, but I have. You think my hair dryer will work? I have a hair dryer. Um, I don't Feel know. Enough. I don't know. Oh, Nancy Smith works at Dollar Tree in Tennessee. Yay. Good. Oh, girl. We, you know, one thing we are out of here are those cute little pieces of furniture and the little wooden furniture. We just don't have them anymore probably because I bought a bunch of them. And I know a lot of people are doing crafts with them now. They're taking them and they're making them a lot nicer. For example, I, I made my little, um, uh, this is my really rustic looking one. I made my little vanity for that and i also use a little hey annie's here so i also use the, the same thing i got from dollar tree hey, little, uh, black like this and i decorated using the little stick on um like sequins and it's, i really had to glue them on because they weren't sticking that well but speaking of which i am trying to use things that are, you know like these little foam i had pretty good luck with this it is still foamy when you're done but it still works because you can cut them easily easy to work with kids could do it that kind of stuff Yes, the back of this is kind of a hot mess. But yeah, well, now I'm going to have to just wait maybe and <laughs> try to get these off later. I didn't even think about that. Oh, that one popped right off. Well, it broke right off. Well, to be Some things you want to pop off. Um, yeah, don't. that one snapped right now. You didn't want that to snap off? Oh, it snapped right off. Yeah. So that's stuff I can work on at least. Hmm. So that that's gonna, what I'm going to be working on today, but I am going, because it was my birthday, I'm going to start with this wonderful package that I got. Now, this is something I bought from before, and I bought, I used, if you watched my previous video, the well, my last whatever video that we did, for found objects, I was looking for little bitty arms and legs for my little bitty dolls like these. And uh, it was in, I found a lot of dolls and I kind of got really interested in the seller because she has um, her mother was a doll maker. And I did include her link. I'll have to add the link into this one as well, because I think you should check it out. So she has tons of doll parts. I think one of the problems that she's having is selling too many things in a lot. And you just can't. People don't, I mean, it's like me. I didn't care because I could do something with it. But a lot of people don't want all that stuff or have to pay for all that stuff and ship all that stuff if they just want a few pieces. So obviously that doesn't affect me. <laughs> so one thing she did do was narrow it down and she, I bought from her before. So she gave me a good deal on these. She kind of gave me some discount. Hello, Aria. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, Aria's here. Oh, hey, hello. I, I haven't met you yet. So thank you for joining us. So today we're going, we are going to put our miniatures, but I have a lot of miniatures in here as well. So while, um, Nancy is working on hers. I did pick up some really cute little miniature bears that this one got, got, got had a little some issues, something like a little chew on it. I don't know if you can see a little bit of something was like mothy kind of thing. I don't know what happened to it, but I like it because it's kind of rough looking. And I might, because he's already rough looking anyway, he's kind of hard. He's like a hard bodied one, this felted. I'll just kind of rough him up and distress him a little bit more because that makes me really sweet ones and this one's by uh cottage collection i don't know not big on the, having the little overalls on and but uh because i'd rather <laughs> you know not these are kind of big for my scale the yellow one i could see using it because some kids had really big teddy bears well this was uh yeah, one of the that, that's my, my next my next venture to yeah. find a doll that fits my scale so I have some other miniature bears I put with Santa's and that's why I got those because those are more Santa oriented. I could probably even put this one in a bag and you wouldn't see his little chewed up feet. I kind of like his little chewed up feet. And then this was another one. So all of these are more for my vintage Santa's and this one's by Boyd's and he's just one of those little tiny. Thank little you, Annie. Showed the bears. I got some tiny bears. And then I got doll stuff and it's kind of crazy <laughs> like what does this mean to do this i don't know 
Stace and Nancy, yeah, I wishing, did. You, wishing you a I had birthday. been admiring this doll. It's not dollhouse size. I just wanted it for my stuff because I do have a lot of vintage dolls. Like, look at just a little sweet face one. Very German uh, mold. That's um, just the cutest little thing. What is this? And metal this might be one that his. I mean, that her mother actually made. I got a couple of them talking to, but that one. So cute, just tiny. This is a reproduction, not vintage, but I just love those made in the vintage style. So I think that was a cutie. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's like, yeah, it was like a hundred bucks. I mean, I just kind of got some stuff I liked, and that was what we worked out. So I have a lot of stuff. So when it came down, it's like 10 bucks a thing, kind of, no, or better, probably five to ten dollars. And then this one, this one's kind of closer to, well, let me see you, because you're kind of, this is my wonky doll I'm still working on. I'm just kind of piecing together. Like I said, she's my maid. She's my housekeeper. Kind of, yeah. I can't, yeah, I can actually work with this. Don't really love the hair on that doll. It needs a little up. It's kind of like scattered. I have to do something with that hair. That, it's, ooh, it's so soft. I think it's Tibetan lamb hair, too. Oh, lots of napkins. I always need my napkins. That's what I like about this. This cell. I always pack stuff and really good stuff to reuse. Uh, and then this one, I thought, oh my gosh, I love this one. She's my fave. Um, she's so precious. I don't, yeah, let me look at her size. She's really tall and I think her head's too big. Yeah, so she's, these two are really out of sale for the one twelfth. But it could be used, actually, I'm almost, these are almost like one sixth size children. But she is so cute. Her hair got a little messed up. You got birthday wishes from Stace and Nancy. Thank you, Smith. Stace. Thank you. Okay, Stacey, look up to the butterfly from Nancy. Nancy said, yes, yeah, that what Nancy said. Music. Happy birthday, Jerry. Thank you from Stace. Thank you. And so did Nancy. Thank you so much. And then here's another one that I love. There, but y'all look at look at these dresses that are made out of. I don't know how what they were. They're fine, almost like um, parts of, na of old ladies' handkerchiefs, which, by the way, the best things to make vintage scale down doll clothes with because the the fabric is so fine and that gives you that te that right texture for making the little doll the uh, dollhouse dolls. A lot of the times, it's hard to find really um, thin cage. I just ate a bunch of nuts before the show. I'm gonna be like, ah. No water. So we have, um, be sure you uh, look for things. Uh, scarves are really good too because scarves tend to be really thin. And one of the things I meant to, I went a little bit nuts yesterday going, when I got back from the lake house looking for stuff. Okay, so I am looking. Where's my phone? Yo, Jerry, why is your phone always broken? I don't know. All right, <laughs> y'all are going to die when you see this. I mean, I just had a fit with face. I told them I wanted miniature stuff and let me know when they didn't let me know because I really think when they t posted these, they had no idea I would go nuts over something like this. Y'all ready for this? Um, hang on a sec. I don't know how I'm going to make these. It's dolls for dolls. Look at this. Okay, so here is the vintage little uh, China dolls, you know, and then there's the child. Look at the scale on these dolls. They're talking about your what? What are we talking? 148? four. Y'all, the arms are like toothpicks. No, no kidding. Wait, where's the toothpick? That's about the size of a toothpick. I mean, tiny. So there's three, four sets. I think I'm maybe the arms. I didn't have enough arms or something. Let me see. One, two. Yeah, so I only had enough arms to make two of them with the full body. But here, look, this is a different head, actually. Is this under the different head? Yeah, so these two are actually different heads. And so I can make two different dolls and literally, I guess, you whittle them out of toothpicks. <laughs> Limbs. But oh, the, the, the little fancy toothpicks yeah. you just sent me were cool. Yeah. And then I love this one. I see this one's cool because it's bisque. So I can, uh, it's not the shiny, because oh, I can glaze anything. But, the, and it has another head like that. So you got two of the more traditional, um, oh my gosh, how did I just forget what those names of those dolls were? Yeah, you know, the China dolls, they have a name. Oh. <laughs> anyway, they, says, they have their own and, name. And he says, whenever Jerry says doll parts, I think of that band from the 90s. Oh. What? I've never heard of that. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Dolls. The baby. Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> That's a, I remember the Goo Goo Dolls from the 90s, right? They were 90s. 
So, uh, 90s hole. If I am from the 90s hole. Oh, wow. So this box, this little bag right here, I keep it in the bag roll. These are tiny parts. I'm looking forward to making those tiny, bag. tiny babies. And then I just need to figure out how to make arms and legs for the other two because those are so small. I'm, I'm using my little portable um, ironing board and my little mini iron. What? Portable ironing board? Where? Oh, you made it? Like a little ironing no, board? No, I, I bought it at Joanne's. Oh, okay. And it has a tiny mat on the I other did side. No, such a thing existed. Speaking of tiny dolls, there the, the was, oh, hang on. Don't lose your leg, buddy. It's kind of hanging. I the backing to the quilt. So now I'm going to just oh press gosh. it. I think this doll is jointed. It is jointed. It's just jointed. It's clothes have got it kind of tied up. Tiny little baby dolls. You see? And so these are the little treasures I want my, my house to have, even though I'm buying them, you know, not making everything. She needs some hair. But look at her little, she's got her own baby. A baby with your baby. I love it. Just awesome. And I did, this lot just came with some plastic dolls. I think I have the arms to this doll. Uh, uh, some, 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 probably got an arm for this doll too. And I got some arms down in here that go to one of the dolls. And then I have one of these that are pretty much the size of a one of my doll, my babies that would work. Come here. I know I keep dragging you out of the. Uh, we're going to get you fixed up, one lady. You look so sad. She keeps neglected, y'all. Anyway, so she, this is more her stuff. It's a big old baby, though. It's a little bit older baby. Not a newborn. But I got So it's a baby doll that will work with the 112. So she's pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Really done well too. I know I need to get, I need to get some cute clothes for. Her. When, I when, I was, when I was getting the supplies on um, my Amazon, uh -huh. I found a book that's called Nancy's Little Treasures in French. <gasps> Did you really? Yeah, I want to get it. Now this doll has got little chewed up feet, so she is definitely a candidate for a do over, like some little booties and things like that. And then, um, wait, where's my, that was that baby, and then the plastic. So, yeah, two plastic, yeah. So, those are that little lot of babies that are, um, I don't want to misplace that because I get that tiny one out. I got to get that little one out and put some hair on her. I mean, maybe, maybe I could have time today. Um, and then it got, and then it kept getting weird. Er. So, that was a great find for me. I mean, I'm so glad I'm kind of connected to this person now. And I sent her the picture of those things that I made with the three hands, you know, the bracelet holders with the mm -hmm. three right hands. And she loved it. She was very happy to get these. So, one thing I got were these just little, these are for like pins or um, uh, ornaments or whatever. So, I've got a set of these. I think there's five of these. One, two, six of these. Seven? What? I have seven of these. What a weird number. So I got seven of these little things that you can make. And I thought that's going to be fun. I could be shabby, cheeky, kind of fun stuff. Or, hey, I could even make them like scary and creepy. Because you know me. Halloween, be coming up. Aria says, my mom lives in Puerto Rico and she loves dressing these dolls. Yeah. Uh, that, like tiny. Smith said you can make head vases with your doll heads. I make what? Head vases. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know that vase that I wish I knew the artist was just all the faces and then just kind of make around the way the make the way around. Uh -huh. It's done by the same guy who does the black and white prints of things that are um, like the faces and the weird, like, uh, it's very mid century period that he was making those things. Anyway, I love those things. Oh, and here's some bigger ones of those heads, too. So I thought these were so cute and so, you know, kind of unique and fun. And I can think of a million things to do with these because I have all these jewelry parts. And I thought, oh, I can just like, you know, give them some, you know, bling on their heads and not necessarily put them on pens, but maybe put them on other things, you know, find them, something. So not so much dollhouse is fun, just something a little fun. Nancy Smith says, um, I love wings to make angels. A different mold. So I bought all the ones of these they had. She had a bunch of these little heads. They went all head crazy. Because you know how much I like to paint my um, creepy heads anyway. But I'm going to paint these cute. I just like to do faces. I can't help it. Uh, but uh, this was something. What in? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I bought this because I'm this crazy. Uh, the killer rabbit. All right. So I showed this to my husband. And we what just started. What is that? 
oh, I'm totally going to take this and maybe frame it or you know, put it on like a little frame. Wait, wait I got some teeth. <laughs> now, who's the, does anyone know who the killer rabbit? It's got the big teeth and it's claws, you know, that, that one. And I guess it's like a stick pin made out of a killer rabbit. I don't know what this is about, but the only thing I can think of is Monty Python's Flying Circus, um, um, uh, Holy Grail, with the with the the killer rabbit. Look at the buns, you know that one. You made the little the little rabbit. It's a slow ordinary rabbit. You know, I just say it's got teeth. And, and, and to be claws, look at the bones. He, he looks like he's yeah. about to attack somebody. So here's one of the dolls that's finished. Isn't that sweet? So they just took the head and then they used the uh, mohair. I think this was more like mohair than Tibetan lamb here. And they so, put some, and I have tons of lace and have tons of hair and I have tons of this stuff. So yeah. And I love this Santa that she made. And it's just so cute. And I'm going to have to, it's got glue on the back. I'm going to try to figure out, make this like a Christmas one or something. Hmm. I like it. Mickey, my doll. More heads. Let's see. More heads. Let's see what else I got. Is my, um, is my sewing machine too, la too loud? And she's sewing, folks. <laughs> All right. And then here's the... Oh, wait. I got one more little bag in here. No, I got the big bag. Okay, the big bag. Um, Here's the big bag. It's a good... Huh? It's a good... Uh, uh, thank you for... Oh, no. My soldier sex is so bad. It's terrible. But I get... I get, I get I'll say it becomes Indian. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh no, I don't know why I'm turning into an Indian from, you know, Calcutta. Um, this one, she, <laughs> she got smushed, but she was just part of the set. I love her dress, though. There is a trick. If you know this, if you're a doll person, and I just pulled her leg out of whack, if you know anything about the old um, celluloid dolls that were hollow, and you know, you remember these because these were like prizes from the fair and things like that. They say you can heat them with a uh, hair dryer and pop. I'm so scared. I'm so terrified of this. But all you kind of have to do is get the air in them to heat up and soften, and the air will expand. But you just have to kind of like block their holes because they'll have like little air holes. So you just like put your hand over the air hole and you hit it with. I'm so scared to do this. I need to see one show, see one actually being done. <gasps> Look at that. How cute. Now, are you going to do something to help it kind of make that shape? Or are you going to. Put some I'm, I'm gonna um hot glue it okay with the hot glue i can reheat it and, and take it off if, if i need to mm -hmm. i and have other I'm yeah i have other dolls by this um i need to kind of clean her up this one these are just little made in japan dolls now see i just had erica make me some clothes <laughs> and uh now i need some more clothes and she's and i need to send her her package but yeah this one needs some really cute clothes i don't have any clothes for this baby Anyway, I have a bunch of those babies. I said I'm going to do some miniatures with my little doll. And these one like his arms too. Which are in your leg, apparently. And this is another celluloid that has a little dent in its cheek. Um, yeah, so you have to hit him with a hair dryer. He's so scared. If you know of a video. Ha! Bobby, hello. And I hope you're feeling better, my sweet friend. Hey, Bobby. We have been worried about you. Okay, so I'm loving this. So the things I would like look at one like because it had one thing in it. I was like, I must have a teeny tiny snow baby. <laughs> I don't do snow babies. But it, I have to need I need it for my Christmas house. You know I do. I will pay ten dollars for one snow baby. The fabric I use for the body, the back of the quilt, I'm gonna be um gluing to the, the I did mattress. like that. That is a sweet little fabric too. I like the white on white. Yeah, yeah and and it's this just, one it's I, not plain. But I, I got to heat up my glue gun. So one of the things I did, because I bought all these parts from this lady. I hope I have this part this for this doll that's broken. That would be great. If not. Nancy I, Smith says, put the baby in a mini tub. Yeah, I'm going to put the baby in something so that you can't see the broken leg. But I, I may have that leg. Yeah, I know. This just I have struggled through so much. Oh, and then I got I don't know what I'm doing. I've got to maybe got to lose the, the hair. The hair's got to go. I'm sorry. So these I remember I'm shocked I got this doll for what anyway. I'm shocked no one picked up on it. I don't I don't particularly I have some America block Americana stuff, but the I can't I can't handle that hair at all. The white, why is it white? But these are made occupied Japan, and it does have legs. Oh, those, are, those are old. A very old, and some people just really love their black Americana. And I have a, I have a friend. I don't know where she is now. She had a shop, closed it up, 
I don't know, she'll pop up somewhere else. And I did want to take her all my black Americana stuff because she will, she collects that stuff. And uh, and then another little vintage baby that's from uh, just China, I'm sorry, Japan. This was made in Japan. So I do love these little, I uh, love the face on this one. I was kind of surprised this one is Japan. That's a pretty cute face for Japan. I have so, a question for the chat. Okay, you see you see the cool color, right? Yeah. The furniture. Oh, I can make a look at this. I can make an area rug just like that too. Yay. So back to the original, uh, my big question of the day. If you know of anybody and found a video, because I have not found a demonstration of how to get rid of, I just hate to experiment on some that I have. But I, I guess I, I have one that's like I'm less attached to, and it's kind of you know, like if it's miss, I think it's missing arms. So I could try it on that one, but I'm really scared to use the the technique they recommend. But we'll see. Okay, so now we're gonna get into this. Okay, my okay. overhead camera I was gonna set up, and I forgot to do it. I just kind of rushed. We're gonna take I these. Need to figure colors. out what color to paint the walls. I got the the back walls brick, and then you have this colorful quilt and the, uh -huh. the, the furniture is stained and black well but i'm um, not sure what color to paint the walls um let me think let me think about that and the floor is like a um a white tile with gray grout all right so i'm just gonna be sticking these uh foam stickers on like this i'm sorry i think i still have your name up i do that all the time uh, who else did I want to get? Uh, I'm so, yeah, wait, I'm so good. Getting back to, um, Jen, there you go. Hey, good to see you. White or off-white? That, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking of painting it, painting it that, um, Yeah, so that, so, that in my opinion. From, the cashew mm -hmm. from, um, Waverly. Right. I was thinking of using that color. So if you're familiar with all these, like, silly little shapes, the reason I like that batch, these have stickers on the back. So I'm kind of working with stickers. Well, then I was looking for stuff because I'm sending things to, um, and I still haven't put together to Erica and I, I had some fabrics and then, okay. ADD is a very bad thing to have because you see this like, Oh, that reminds me. I need to go put a sewing kit together from my brother. Oh, well, I'm digging in the buttons. Let's sort 10,000 buttons. And why are you doing that? You know, and get me started. Here's the cashew. I'm going to say uh, the white, because your um, because your thing, the sheet you're using is really, really white. I'm not, I don't know. Let me see your color choices again. I like, okay, so I'm, let me see the, let me see the quilt. How bright do you want this? Because you've got a lot of yellow represented in it. And is that your, wait, what did you, oh, that was the, I thought you had a rug down. That was your that was your quilt. Sorry. Let me let me oh, say, I, I, it might make a little quilt on um, rug like like Not this. That one. Um, oh, oh my gosh, sorry. There you go. Yeah. You want to get rid of me though. Hmm. So this is gonna be up here. Yeah. So see, oh well, she's got that yellow in the books too. That's a lot of yellow though. So see, because of the red, I was thinking yellow would really pop against well, that wall. A lot, of, a lot of these books will, will probably be you're, moved to the library when I make it. Okay, because your books are a yellow. We would be clashy with the yellow, so I don't think that would be a good idea for that wall. But I was thinking like a mustardy. What kind of yellow? See the yellow that is actually in your quilts a little bit more of a golden yellow than the mm -hmm. book. I'm kind of liking that because those are your cadmium colors that give you cancer. Yay! <laughs> Red and green. Use a lot of that. Don't do it. Um, that it yellow looks really rich, you know, with wood tones. It brings out the, you know, the yellows. Bobby and says a soft blue color. like glacier. Well, the only problem with the glacier is I'm uh, is the I don't see it really represented in anything else. You got that brick. You want that brick to really like dance you know yeah. um i wouldn't go as like green because it's complimentary i would uh i would i'm liking some yellow so here's what i would recommend you do is you get some yellow paper and you kind of stick it there oh, and look at it i have a lot you of scrapbook paper, paper that's, that's yellow just some printer paper i have a lot of scrapbook paper i can i can the only hold up that kind of tealy color that's um Quilt closer. See, I'm kind of loving that tealy blue that's in there. It's kind of aqua color. It was kind of, no, no I'm still in my shirt. By the way. Yeah, don't let that fall. 
And the reason I'm liking that blue, I think it's kind of got enough of the greens in it. It's kind of a pretty color with the red as well. But that is a, not that green, but the blue or green. I like that blue or green too. That's going to be really really dark though. The yellow would at least brighten it up. So what I would recommend is getting a uh, printer paper that's a color, if you have it, and, and just check it out, to test it out, see how it looks. Um, I have all kinds of solid paper colors. The only reason I'm avoiding the white is because your floor is white, and it would need to be a white that kind of complements the, blends with the floor, and then you're going to yeah. have, uh, you know, that. Because you're probably going to want to paint your door white. Are you going to paint your door or stain your door? I don't know yet. That's why I haven't done it. Because I'm waiting for I went, I'm waiting for the door the yeah, wall. Yeah, but that's that's another thing. So whether or not you're going to stain your trim. Anyway, let me get my stickers. I'm gonna get this. Don't start playing. I'm gonna start playing too. I'm gonna drop me down. So I'm not gonna really use these things as I they're. The, I forgot to. I finished the blinds from last week. Uh huh. And they seemed a little um plain, so I made a little um, what are those things called on top? The what on top? Oh, cornices. Yeah, I made some black cornices on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. With, with, with and the, it was, looks really good because you've used the black um, grout. Oh, and I'm sorry, mortar. I can't get where it's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, it, I moved it looks that. A little plain. It back up, it's and, like a nightmare. And then the, the ones in the middle, I went all the way down. Yeah. So she says, so uh, she says, Fabi says, all the pieces are so cool. Oh, she's so sweet. I'm going to kind of eyeball where I think center is on here. I'll put it right there. Mm -mm -mm. Now, when I do this, it's going to look like really cutesy and kid-like. But when you get it all painted, you get this look. I mean, you t seriously get these. There's so many techniques you can do to create. For example, I'll probably paint this all gold. And then I will come back and uh, distress it and highlight it much. and things like that. So I don't know if I like that so much. I'm going to drop this down. Oh my gosh, Jerry can't find center today. I'm not really trusting the stickers because they're really old. And I have my... We're going to try our Fabri-Tac on this, which is really thick, by the way. Y'all haven't worked with it yet. Super thick. Um, it's kind of... need to buy me a new, a new bottle. I ran out. Yeah. I feel like it's got a little bit of a... If you pour, like if you pour it out on something to use, I do find it dries really fast. I just threw away some really good. Fabi says if she can figure out how to shrink herself, she's moving in. Okay, I know, right? Don't you love? I mean, oh y'all. Okay, so we're just sick. We have become these sicko people who are just so addicted to this stuff now. It's like forget everything else. I was literally going through my barn, going, "You're big. I'm getting rid of you." I love what these people are doing. You can sit and watch. I've, I've, I've killed so much time just looking. These miniature houses are real. They're like somebody should be living in them. They're so perfect. And then they stand back and stick their hands that, that and you're like, are you on? serious? Are you serious? That is a fake. That's not real. And it's tiny. So tell them about the little bitty, the little bitty, bitty stuff. That well, everyone saw. that just turned, up, turned in, tuned in, whatever. I made this painting canvas that I'm going to be adding a watercolor to, mm -hmm. and it actually slides to reveal TV. Yeah, I'm going to ask you why you decided watercolor. Why did you set this up on watercolor? Because I, I'm, I'm used to making some cute watercolors. How, oh, okay. And then I didn't know if you had like a, a brand or something you were going to be working with or something like that, or which is an option you can and just stick in a little uh, print. And then you can add like your Mod Podge with some texture to give it that look of uh, paint mm -hmm. of any kind, you know, any kind of little print of a painting and add the little swirls and things and make them look painted. Um, okay. Can I tell you one of my pet peeves? I know I'm talking yes, Bobby, it's, it's a little oh, trunk. What's wrong with me? I'm going to put, probably put some little blankets in there as, as well. Ah. And, it, and it goes on the foot of the bed. And then last oh, week I made some suitcases too. I just realized I put something away that I was going to show y'all, but I put it, I put it in one of my rooms. So just little by it. little, I'm making pieces for it. Oh, Once I pick. finish the, the bedding here, I might start working on the, the lamps. So on, um, totally just forgot what I was going to say. And it was so important. No, it wasn't. Never is. Oh, my pet peeve. Watching a movie. Uh, 
a, like a portrait or something or the, oh i like no it's usually a master's painting let me pull my thing out so you can i'm gonna be talking with my hands get to see my hands and they used to look like a master's painting let's say they they take the painting of um mona lisa because everybody knows mona lisa okay so mona lisa is painted first of all she's a certain size she's not very big I mean, she's been so blown out of proportion over the years, but she's really, it's really a small painting. Yeah, my niece went to oh, see, see it yeah. when they, they went to Europe um, a few years mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. She went to see it. Yeah, she's not huge. Like like I said, she's one of those that's been so blown out of, you know, she's larger than life. But when you see the actual painting, you're like, dang, she's tiny. But uh, they so they'll have a painting like that, like an old master's painting, and then they'll take the camera and pan around it because the characters are, and you don't, see the glaze you see flat you see this thing you could tell some print and you're just like i'm just like can you not like can prop people not like cut, put some goop on it or something to make it look like it's got paint marks and make it look like a real deal or put the like a glaze over it come on people it's your job do a good job well that that girl from that 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 i've been watching um a, a square to the square to spare mm -hmm. mm -hmm. she she actually put um Printed out some colored print um cop um paintings, mm -hmm. and then on top of it added some of her own paint. Oh, that's so, true. That's another to, trick. Now you give will, us dimension. That is a thing that that TV is so neat. Uh, so I know that I love that TV. Are you gonna have like something on the TV, like a in like a show, like print out like a show? Uh, maybe. But, when you can change it out. I saw oh, some uh, uh, so another miniatures. Um, she made the, the TV in her living room. She cut it out the same size as her as her um, cell phone, so she can slide her cell phone oh, in stop, there. Stop! Stop it! And then have oh my gosh! And you can have, oh, and you can have things um, playing on, on on your cell phone. Unbelievable! Okay, these these people are having too much fun. I mean, because we all I love know, making oh, no. crafts, but I think we all suffer from the exact same problem. What are we putting all this stuff when we're done with it? It's just so much stuff. Do it in miniature. So that's really. How like, I'm trying to like this, kind of give me a round of applause or how I'm segueing into this announcement. So this is to help with the announcement of please participate in our uh, Tiny Treasures, your take on Tiny Treasures. And I do want you to think that way. Don't just think, um, well, I got to make like a little bit doll. I got to make something for a dollhouse. No, take something you really love and just make it smaller. And if you really love the, um, and hey, this is, this is the cool part. You can do anything with this. I mean, like a teeny tiny teddy bear. And you can make uh, a, like a little, um, like a sign that says farmhouse or whatever, you know, all those kind of things that you like to do anyway, just tiny, just make it tiny. And it doesn't, I don't know, I'm not concerned about you actually having a uh, room or something like that, but it is kind of fun when you do. And if anybody is a parent and has not made a diorama yet, come on, people. You know what a di you know the dioramas. I found a dinosaur from Dollar Tree Hi, in my Glenda. In one of my hey Glenda. This is one of my stats. This is our friend. If you are new to our channel, this is our precious friend from Australia who gets up at some ungodly hour in the morning to do this. But don't you love mornings? Mornings are great. So thank you for joining it's us. Anyway, thank you for joining us, Glenda. Yay! So your mattress looks amazing. But since you're putting that really white on there, yeah, you do need to bring some more white. But show them what your plan is for your light. Oh my gosh, her lamp. Ah. So see, I'm wanting to stick kind of Victorian, vintage kind of stuff. But when I see her modern stuff, I'm like, I'm going to have to make a room. I'm going to have to do it. Hi, New England Thrifter. I forget her name. Oh, hey, Helen. She's here. Hi, Helen. Helen has some, uh, by the way, if y'all enjoyed watching crafting, she does do a crafting show. It is fun. And they have Fridays on Fridays at what time? Um, if, uh, Helen, pop that in when time your crafting show is, because that is pretty fun to watch. And they just kind of sit and chat about crazy stuff, kind of like I'm doing today. I found, um, yeah, I, I, if you were concerned about making an entire room, not even expected of you at all. What we would love to see is make something that you love to make. Just make it. You small. can make just one little suitcase if you wanted to. Yes, absolutely. So, um, you know, one of the things I'm going to talk bad about you now. No, I'm not talking about. I'm talking awesome about you, Bobby, because you got beautiful children. Um, and that I think would really appreciate you making things for them and grandchildren. That is a smaller scale things for Barbie. Great is a really good scale to work with. Things for 18 inch dolls, which are one what third? Are they? What do you call it? 18 inch dolls? 
Are they one third? I Whatever. Don't know. That, but that's a that's almost a, well, let me see your suitcase. It's kind of a one twelfth because it's this a big like a one twelfth. But that same size you can do. That's good for Barbie. That could actually be a pretty good Barbie size. So that would be one sixth, you know, because suitcases come in so many different sizes. By the way, I eat chocolate. But if you wonder why I'm going 90 miles an hour, because I was like, I'm so tired. I just be sleepy. I'm a sleepy girl. So we went out to our lake house. I want to tell y'all that it's like we have a, a problem at our lake. It's called Lake Bista Knot. It's actually like Bista No. And uh, it's got so much Sylvania that it's really choking it off. And this is only a May now. It's May. And we have. What's Sylvania? The Sylvania. Sylvania. I say it. How do you say it? Sylvania. Or India, 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 yeah, Savania, Savania. Water hyacinth, any kind of thing like that. And it's an aquatic plant that originated down in like Brazil or somewhere like that. But it looks so cute in aquariums and in these little backyard ponds that people thought, oh, they're so cute. And they didn't contain them and they're very evasive. So basically, when it took over their little ponds they said oh i'm just going to throw it in the main waterway so it gets in everybody's water and it's <laughs> very serious and poses a threat even to the chafalaya basin even though parts of the chafalaya basin are um have salt water in it so what is that called it has some salt water in it it's called brackish so the brackish will kill it so if it gets into that down into our chafalaya basin it, it will do some damage but we are a world, you know, our little Louisiana ecosystem, which is kind of unique, like so many other states have their own little unique thing. You know, that is a, a big, a big source of a lot of our everything. And so you don't want it polluted. So anywhere where the water is shallow, which the snow is the shallow, like I think its depth is maybe 12 feet to maybe 20 in some places, but mostly averages about 12 feet deep and uh, even shallower. Lots and lots and lots of uh, the cypress, which we love. That's why we bought there because I love the cypress trees. They're so amazing. And we have names for our cypress trees. Yeah, because we know all our cypress trees in our area. We <laughs> um, I have these trees that I call storyteller trees. And these are the ones that if you've ever seen a cypress tree that's out, it's a certain depth of water. They will grow lots of knees around them. And if anyone knows what a storyteller doll is, then it's something, uh, it's from, it's a Mexican, maybe South American. I think it's more South American than just Mexico, but it's like this little figure of this lady who's sitting there and she's got all these children around her. So I always call those my storyteller trees. So if we're looking like my husband and I are paddling, by the way, 30, 30, what? How many years? Mm, two, two, 32 years of marriage. Cannot canoe with my husband. Cannot do it. Can't do it. I, I got, I got nothing. It's him. It's not me because I'm in the front. And so I'm in the front. And so you would think the person in the back has, can see what the person in the front is doing. I'm just saying. So we <laughs> went canoeing. It was awesome. I love being out on that nasty tea stain because it has a lot of, um, I'm really on a roll today, uh, a lot of tannin in it from the cypress trees so the water is the color of, of really coffee but it's they call it you know, kind of tea stain mm -hmm. stain all of your clothes stains your boat stains everything mm -hmm. but it is what it is so anyway we're out there paddling around and I, and i'm so sore because i had to paddle through savinia which is like paddling through stew basically it's really thick and as my shoulders are killing me but i have not done anything physical in so long it doesn't surprise me so we did, anyway, went out there and then we were coming around. We went out to the main lake, came around and went down the channel, okay, went down the channel, down, around, and we, our friends live off the main lake and you can see their house. Oh my gosh, gorgeousness up on the hill. There's our, I'm so glad to be, these are my friends, you know, <laughs> the hill on the, that you can see from the main lake. I feel so special. So we saw them, waved to them, you know, and they're like, yeah, come on up. So we went up to see them and had our dogs and we, so we all, they have dogs and we all just kind of hung out and then it got dark and we had to go home in the dark. Now, oh no. It, it, <laughs> by the way, but uh, not necessarily in our, they're kind of farther in the shallow area because we're in the channel right now. So we're not really worried about alligators where we are, but yeah, there's alligators. 
But it, in the evening hours, something if you know this, how you lake livers, if you don't live on a lake, you should know this. The snakes can't like to climb up in the trees. They live on the lake, but they will climb up in the trees at night because obviously stay warm at night as well. That freak me out. Um, Cormions and all that that come in, which is kind of fun to see all the, the if you're out on the boat at, at sunset to watch all the, the birds coming in to roost. That's kind of a cool thing. Lake living's great. So anyway, yeah, so we, we had to borrow a flashlight and we're, and my husband goes, well, Jerry, you know, you can just go ahead and walk the dogs home and I will canoe back. And I said, oh no, I'm pulling an Annie here. Is Annie still on? She may have snapped, jumped off to go back to work. Annie, I lived the adventure. I was out there canoeing in the dark with a teeny, teeny tiny flashlight that I literally had between my knees like this. <laughs> and it was like this much light. Ah! And we were like paddling like and trying to figure out where we were. And we had marked our um, entrance to get in from the lake to get to our boathouse. So we were looking for our arrow and we had, we had to clear like a certain it's not straight, by the way. The channel is not straight because why would you make them straight, right? So it follows the Tulum Bayou, which is kind of curvy. So we, we went down that and then you kind of have to look for your markers in the dark. And it's one of those situations where you have to clear a tree in order mm -hmm. to see our marker. And I am have not been out on the in so long, in two years. I mean, I probably, I'm probably not have been out on a canoe in a canoe at night. Hello, ever. So I... I'm telling my husband, he goes, well, where are we? Do you know, can you see our marker? And I said, no, we're not there yet. We got to clear, you know, Fred, the tree. And because I know my trees, that, that one didn't have a name. I said, no, I got to clear that, that one tree. You got to clear that tree that, you know, the big one that's got the other one that's growing next to it. Yeah, that tree. So we have like the twin trees. We've got, we have like a tree that's got three trees growing it all kind of parted up. So those are our markers. And we have dead, I call the dead trees that are covered with uh, the Spanish moss. Those are my gray ghosts. So I, that's like a marker, you know, we go, well, you head towards the gray ghost. <laughs> Take a left. <laughs> All right. So this is looking really tacky, um, but I'm working on it. It's going to be awesome when I get done. Promise. So I'm just looking for weird stuff to stick in here. I'm working on the pillow now. Anyway, that is an adventure living on a lake or having, in my case, just a lake house. I mean, I don't live on it. We, we every time we go out there though we think we can live out here i mean all we need is this this and that we could live here all the time they have the worst internet are you kidding me who can live without good internet so my bless okay. his little heart i was talking to robin yesterday as i was heading to the lake and i said i won't be able to communicate much longer because we have no service out there i have like one bar so my sweet husband buys this booster he's up on a ladder most of the day hooking up this booster we got one more bar all that one bar they have it that's 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 what it really is about okay. oh she's looking at us okay, Thank you. oh it's gonna be great oh yeah it is it you know what it is um i'm so glad we found it and we did get a good deal on it because why it's not like this or not we do get some good years i mean some good times of the year with really good water depending on the wind the way it's blowing okay can paddle through it if you got the arms of arnold schwarzenegger but i have not and once you kind of get out of that you can um you, you hit once you we're, we're not that far from the channel and it doesn't the savinia doesn't stick in the channel but they do have to drain our lake because of it and that becomes a problem if you in the but you can walk around the lake when it's drained and that's kind of cool it really is kind of cool when it's drained that's, that's just another experience, you know. It's all part of the experience, guys. Just saying. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Yeah, and it's like um, my mother-in-law, a totally different story, who sent me money that I just spent, I had already spent on all this. So I'm going to thank her for that so that I, because I could buy all that really cute stuff for my, because I need more stuff, obviously, for my dollhouse. <laughs> But I need to send her pictures. Of, oh, actually, I sent her a link. Look what I bought with the money. Now, my mother gave me some money on my birthday, and I bought that. If you had not seen my post on the community page, all that cool stuff I bought. I could have bought more, but I just knew I there's just not stuff I was going to use. So I kind of stuck with this big batch of stuff she had and things I knew I would use for um, 
you know, scrapbooking or journaling or dollhouse wallpapers. I'm telling she had some good stuff for that. So I'm pretty excited about that batch. And I haven't gone through it yet. So that was something like from my, oh, and this is from my mother. And this is what I tell you about my story. So now 60 years old, come on, my hands are looking like an old lady's, but this ring right here. And I just kind of think about the math. I was in, I want to say high school. So like fresh, but younger, like maybe a sophomore or so. But my mother went to Hawaii. She may go when I was 15, actually. So she went to Hawaii. Mm. And, and yeah, she's just, that, that makes her in her late 40s. So yeah. And she got these, you get to, this is back in the, you know how they're doing that thing where you shuck pearls all the time? Now you, you buy oysters and they shuck them for you on the line. Have y'all seen those things? I've, I've never seen that. You haven't seen one of those? Well, hey, Michelle, thank you for joining me. I'm talking about my ring, Michelle, that my mama gave me. So she got this back. Hello, Michelle. 40 years ago, I guess, ish, if not 45. So, oh yeah, like 45 years ago. So you open the, you you picture oyster and then they open them for you. And then you, and my mother got, and they're called black, but they're really dark gray. But you know what I mean? They're making blacker now. But this is 45 years ago. So these are not more, mm, they're not natural. You know, they put, they put grains in there and make them somewhat cultured pearls. We'll just call them like, that's what they are. But then you could pick out whatever setting you wanted. And then you bought this. So she bought this. And for some reason, I don't know why I thought she paid like $75 for it at the time, you know, and for the experience. And so she's had it and I've always loved it. She hardly ever wore it. And I'm like, mom, one of these days I want this ring. And, I, and I'm so glad she gave it to me so I can enjoy it now. Yay. Yeah. And I don't wear a lot of gold, but because she did that, I took my wedding um, diamond off and I have like this weird collection of bands that I have. So this was my mother's wedding band. Tiny, how it fits me. I don't even know why it's fitting me. I lost weight. So my mother... I, Go band for my mom, and then oh, I think she wore it later. This is not when she was first married. Um, and then it, just one of those little rings from it has the words on it that live, laugh, and love. No, it doesn't say that. It says, May your uh, oh, may your wildest dreams come true. And then I have this one that someone had made out of gold and silver, so I just layered this on so that way I'd be yeah. wearing Ta -da! my story, my story for the day. Okay, I'm, I'm making it. To, to to turn this this pillowcase inside out, but I can't get the two pieces of fabric to come apart. Okay. Do you have? Okay. Did you get Wait you some? Cal Did you get you some of these? I told you get you some hemostats. You have them because I, I know I you. Do. Reach I, in there with your hemostats and pull it <laughs> Do some surgery. It's only a single layer. You don't think you can get? It? What did you do? No, I what you forgot to sew. Okay, I see. cut four, four you pieces. You one job, woman. One job. I cut four pieces. Yeah, and I'm here trying, trying to turn it. <laughs> have you been, Michelle? Have you been to Hawaii? But wait, wait, let me. Pop. If y'all have not, and, and Michelle, let me tell you, this woman is uh, first of all gorgeous, and she does a really good uh, series. Her channel is about all this different style stuff. And best advice, she's that I really still need to do this with you, Michelle. I have got to clean out my makeup drawer. I think about you every time I look down. I go, "Oh my gosh, I have makeup that is so old." But I, I have been doing as I pick a piece, like a thing up, I'll set it aside. And go, I gotta get rid of this. But I bring it out to my studio because you can do some painting and shading and fun stuff with these makeup. So if you have guilt about throwing away a ten dollar thing of makeup, then I just think, "Oh, I can paint with it." I can shade with it. I can uh, add, uh, you know, glitz to it. So, and I did a whole doll out of makeup uh, to her her outfit. She's that little, my little time traveler. And she's all done out of makeup. Well, she's base coated with paint. Okay. Base coated with paint. I, I've used my blush for my crochet doll. Go, please go check out her channel. Actually, uh, can I add that right now? I'm going to do that real quick while you're working on that. All right. When I, when, um, when I do my crochet dolls and paint their faces... I use my blush to give them their cheeks. Yes, absolutely. It does such a better job. Oh my goodness, it really does. And so that's what's thing. It's her channel is called Dial In for Makeup, but she does cover some different things. So, and she's gorgeous and fun to watch. And I'm going to post her right here. And y'all go on and please check out her channel and subscribe. And yeah, and and I oh, and I met her on um on. 
channel. Means. I am so behind. What did I just say? Did I say her name wrong? Yeah. I mean, anyways, so I am so behind on everybody. I guess my views are down, but I kind of earned it because I have been watching the Johnny Depp trial <laughs> instead of my friends. Because I'm, but I do need to get. I really I have people that I love and I want to support. And I'm telling you, I like I do like her videos. And I was letting my TV, my channel run the other day while I was working out in my barn. And so it was kind of running and, and I have all these, I'll do. So I was technically watching stuff while working. <laughs> just every, I haven't gone back and fixed things, but we're so lucky. We have some really good talented people on our, you know, to follow and to watch and to learn a lot of cool stuff. And you look at me, rarely do I wear makeup. And when I try, I'm, I'm so I don't wear makeup. I look, I just look, I don't know. I think my eyebrows, I would like to go get my eyebrows dyed. I'm just scared because I've seen videos of people who got their eyebrows done and they walk out looking like somebody took Sharpie and just drew like these crazy eyebrows on them. I would not have good luck with this. And, and then it's like me taking my dog to the groomer and then I kept my dog back and she's a hot mess. I'm like, what? It just, could you not really? I saw someone else on Instagram that, that, that had the same problem with their dog, their dogs. Really? That they took them to the groomers. They're like, never going back there again. Uh-uh. And so I ran into a friend of mine. Um, I almost did a video of this the other day. I was on my birthday. On oh, my birthday. We'll run that in. Oh, run that in the ground. But I did um, go to a... It's called, we have a place called the Men's Shed, but women go as well, just called Men's Shed. And that comes from England, like something they did like in England or Scotland or something, where people would combine all their tools and everybody would just work together on each other's tools. So we had this really good thing, and it's just down the road. I could join it. So they have an annual show where the people are selling a lot of those, and you know I can't pronounce that word, say the word, the cutting boards. Yeah, with the, that you put the stuff on, the meat and stuff. Charcuterie boards. Yeah, should we say it again? Charcuterie. What am I missing? Charcuterie. And am I Char saying it? See? Charcuterie, I think. Char Char charcuterie. I gotta look at it. I gotta I see the word and say it many times. I guess. I don't say it. So a lot of people were making those things, but I want. I wish Billy were. I'll on. be right back. I'm going under my desk to get my stuff in. Okay. I was thinking of Billy because there was a man, and let me tell you, he did some beautiful stuff. He did turn, oh, sorry, Michelle, I got you up there. Love pieces for mama. Sorry. I know, right? Let me hide this one. Um, uh, so, yes, please, let me, while I'm popping things up, let's sit. If you ever want me to post your thing and you can't, and you're not a, um, you don't have a, a, a thing to do it with, please let me know. I should do that. I should do more of those. Anyway, so check out her, her check out her site. Thank you for joining us. So, um, there was a guy there who was doing wood turning, and I I see a lot of wood turning, and they're not. Uh, you can tell like we're oh thank you Michelle charcuterie got it charcuterie charcuterie thank you I needed it spelled out for me I was close I know right yes. I mean, I, uh, she says, I am, um, I know, I don't, I, I'm, I'm answering without reading what the comment is. Yes. Oh my goodness. That y'all are a good pair up because, um, oh. yes, she, she does some really cute, so many cute things, young, get kids, but yeah, get, uh, yeah. Um, okay. I'm never going to get my thing done because I'm going to be talking with my hands the whole time. But I had this guy and he was doing beautiful work. I really wanted to take pictures of his work, but then I thought he might not like me doing it because some people don't like that. And I was really thinking of Billy because Billy would appreciate this man. He did these big items and the fact that they did not warp and did not have any cracks. I was, I was almost afraid. I would be afraid to buy the really big bowls. Then you would not believe how thin he did these. I said, how do they not crack? He was kind of busy, so I didn't talk to him about, I was really wanting to ask him, how do you do this? Well, they don't crack. I'm just curious. And he did a really good job. But then there was somebody else who also had a booth set up, and it was kind of sad because they did pretty good stuff and was thicker, you know, but it's cute stuff. But one person had done a, um, a 
Robin, her name is Michelle. So um, Dial, Dial M for makeup is uh, Michelle. Anyway, so the oval ball, I mean, oval bowl reminded me a lot of what uh, Billy had made the other day that had the live edge. It was beautiful. Okay, it was really pretty, but they glazed it or co put some kind of, I don't know what Billy uses. Billy oils his or something, but whatever they used had drips show, on it. Show Drip. a, a trick oh, here. You know, he would have just had a fit if he had seen that. I use my hemostats here. Mm -hmm. I get the, the, the stuffing and wrap it around like this. Absolutely. Look at this. Look at the things you learn on our show. Because the, the opening is so small. So I just stick it in there and then let it go. Mm -hmm. And it's in that. And then so I many just, uses. If And one of us should put a, well, we shouldn't have to do that. I know it's kind of hard to remember that word, but the um, a lot of times we'll just see it under I'll oh handle, I'll okay, handle the opening close later but here's one pillow unbelievably adorable that's so much just that thing out. I don't know how long it would take me to figure that one to do that I, after I sew rip it out resew it rip it out again yes I did something wrong it works much better with two pieces of fabric <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I, that's a good point. You need to like tip of the day today. Make sure yeah. you have two pieces of fabric before you start sewing. If you're making no, no dress were not on purpose, Robin. It was just badly done. It was just not, I don't know if they didn't catch it or what happened, but it was like whatever material, whatever mm, finish they had put on it, had runs on it. And I was like, Oh my gosh, that is bad. And 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 that was like the best piece they had because everything else was kind of like not good. It just I was sad. It was, that's a lot of work. But if you and you ruin it with your um, glaze, that was really kind of sad. I, I I used to make um those those um epoxy tumblers. Mm -hmm. But for some reason last year, mm -hmm. um either was my, the temperature in my house, right, or I was using an old epoxy or something. It was, yeah, not, it was not working this. out well. Yeah. So I, I just I just I just told the lady um I gave her money back. Yeah. No, no I'm, not, we do want I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna give something that, that looks that bad. Mm -mm. Hi Deborah. Hi Deb. Hi Nancy In for Deb and Drop Wrong. And Deb, yeah, he's gone. And didn't take me anywhere. Oh he, he did take he didn't mean like. I said, because one of my friends wasn't feeling good, so I didn't get to go see her. She ate, says she ate something that dis, disagreed. But I found out that my friend, but my other friend, is she is, she's one of the coolest people I know, by the way. I mean, my gosh, this woman's cool. I should love it. We have like this friend who's like, oh my gosh, she has lived this cool life and she's done all these cool things and she's a little older than I am and she's still cool. So much coolness. So she is playing. Her, she plays the guitar beautifully and sings beautifully. Um, and so she's playing her guitar at this club, a little bitty club in um, the big town of Minden, Louisiana. At the country, it's near the country club. And so we're like, okay, we're she's going on the on the thirteenth. Glad gonna, I help, um, um, Robin. Oh, I forgot to do this back on the, our thingy, which we kind of no, don't need it right now. But so what's Robin doing? Yeah, okay. she, she she was thanking me because I told her to put two pieces of tape on either side of her napkins. Yes, to to oh, separate, separate them. Napkins. Absolutely, brilliant. Oh my gosh, I struggled so doing that. That was one of my <laughs> things Jerry can't do well, but I will definitely do that next time. Yeah, but I was bad last month. I ended up spending money because well, I knew I had money coming. Let's just say that to pay some of my bills. And I didn't reach my goal. If I had not been shopping, I could have reached my goal of listing 500 things on eBay, and I didn't make it. So I'm mad. I got I got some things to do. Yeah, Catch my up. son thought that, that I received something from eBay because of the tape he used. Yeah? <laughs> he goes, Mommy, you ordered something from eBay? I go, no, she uses the tape from eBay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I have the um, that wait. What did, and I, did I? No, I. I think I sent you in a box that was I recycled a box because I had you in the box. Remember the, the one that you sent me? So I was mm -hmm. gonna send that back, but then I kept finding more stuff. 
show what I sent you? You can show what I sent you if you want to. If you got time. Oh, sure. Oops. And I forgot all about the wax. I was looking in the box going, oh, something else I wanted to send you, but I couldn't. I was like, oh, this not, I have no, I was looking at other things. Going, well, no, that's not wood. It was the wax. I'm going to separate you some wax out. See if you liked it. But you're going to like it, so order some. I'll, I'll show I'll show what I got. There's some cool so stuff. So I there. did order, I, and I used it in my other thing. Quickly showed you this uh, museum wax. Now, I bought the big, oh my gosh, the big thing costs as much as the other stuff. But I got the big jar because it will last forever. But you yeah. don't have to just use it for the dollhouse stuff. You can actually just keep things held together while they're gluing, and I'll, and you use mineral spirits to or if, or if you're using, um, like some people reuse their DIYs for other DIYs. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And I think that was something uh, that Fabi had mentioned one time that she liked that there's some things that she likes to reuse. So if it's going to be in a place, and I wouldn't say use it outdoors, but if it's going to be in a place where it's not going to be handled or moved around a lot and, and it's a lightweight, I wouldn't be anything heavy tried to stick anything really heavy on it but you can just use the wax and hold it in place and then enjoy it and then you can take it apart and use the mineral spirits to get the excess off you can get a lot of it off just by hand but then and kind of roll it off but then you can come back and clean up any residue with mineral spirits not that i've done that so make sure whatever you're doing is mineral spirits safe you're not gonna like eat a hole in it just little weird things like okay. I said, I'm going to sew these up um, by hand later. But here's my two pillows. I think they're a little small, but... <laughs> I'm trying. I'm still trying to get my little eggs and my frame decorated, too. I uh, Well, I think when you fold your things down, they're going to look better. Yeah. yeah it gets folded down. I was down. thinking if, if I should fold it where it shows some of the, some of the bedding like this. Mm -hmm. And then add the pillows. Yeah. yeah. Right, I like that. Uh huh. That's gonna look good. Really good. Hey, can you tuck it in under your mattress? Uh, no, oh, because no, it'll, no, it's gonna bulge up. Yeah, I got yeah. that. Mm hmm. Okay, so one of the things that I saw at thrifting, I found this this crown, one of these Disney crowns, you know, and I took it had like an image of Belle. I think it was Belle was in this one or somebody Sleeping Beauty. I stole this off of it, even though it has birds. I'm going to kind of distress it and make it look more um, vintagey and put, I got to give me some mirrors, put a mirror in it. I think that'd be really cute for my Victorian, like Christmas house because oh, that's they're cute. That's my house. It's so hard to do everything. You know what, Robin, we could get it all done if we didn't sleep. Just the sleeping. All that sleeping just eats up so sleeping much. Eating. It's in the way of things. It does. We have so many brilliant ideas. Then we got to go take a nap, go sleep. And then you wake up the next day like, yeah, I forgot everything. I, I did take a nap yesterday. I mm -hmm. felt much better afterwards. That's good to know. I had this little stuff and I couldn't find it. Try it with this. Yeah, I'm going to show off my, my, my goodie bag. My, my Actually, my goodie box from Jerry. And I already used some some bits and pieces of it. Mm-hmm. So, so the, the, the first thing that she said, that is one of the things I worked on was getting my my area. Yeah, beads, itty -bitty, lots of beads. Itty bitty um, beads that I use for, wait for it, wait for it. And the, as my knobs for my I love, perfect size too they really work, worked out well these were the beads that i used for my little legs on my and my and my legs on my table as well those were from walmart and i had a ton of them I mean, so that's great great to share and so i got different shapes of, um pieces of wood that there's like, like teardrops over the squares because you never rectangles. know and you should put them on these itty bitty bags. And those and those are good things to like cut up too. They cut easily. They'll split. Mm -hmm. Oh, do the thing that do the thing that um I just totally went blank again. Fabi recommended and just did, make sure they're damp before you cut them. I don't think they'll split. Yeah. yeah. I use them usually use my better cutter. These would be good for some legs on some furniture. 
Yes, I do like those. Fine. And I did use those as the legs on this piece right here. And I, then I added, these are wheels that I added on here. Did I send you wheels? I don't remember if I sent wheels. I I sent you too. What is, what is this? Is this like a... Okay, uh, so you can make baskets. You can take that apart. It's paper, so you can actually unwind it and do stuff with it as well. So we have all, I mean, Allie's all about minis. Oh, we want to know more about you. Oh, my goodness. We love our minis. Let's see what... Here's the little wheels. I did see you good. Because I was like, did I send... Those were in a different bag. That's why I couldn't remember. I'd and send. these circles are great for a little... You can probably make a little mini tear train. Oh, sorry about that. I accidentally... Okay. Well, you are a new channel? Let's see. So she has started a new channel. Allie has. I think that's how I'm saying. Or it's Alice. Hmm. I... Al. All is Al about... So it's Al. And we did. Let me let me look up a little bit about her. And she's got her about. But you have your about page. You get on that, girl. You get on that about page. And you tell us about yourself. So... What I'm doing today is making hello. Anyway, so, so this is anyway. Here she is. So you know, check out her channel. And I have got. I took this basic. Look at these cool thing toothpicks. Tree. I'm doing this. Aren't those the coolest toothpicks? I mean, you yes. see them. Me, of course. You know what my son said? They look like bedposts. They do. They look like <laughs> our little chairs, like the back of a chair, and then a little mm -hmm. tiny legs. Those are like little bitties. And some more wood. I got plenty of wood here. Yeah, some wood, little pieces of wood, and some. So I, I had coffee stirs, but these are much bigger. Yeah, why those mine. tall and thicker? Yeah, yeah I know. Thicker That's, than mine. Yeah, but it gives you that variety. Yes. Oh, these these are I've never seen these before. They're like little forks. I like love those. those. Those are what I'm going to use those for. Um, my staircase. I'm going to use those for railing on my stairs. Bannister, you know what I mean? Those railings. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do this a little neater. It, this now, stuff now I got to rearrange my area so put, to, to find spots for all these now. I had to, but when I bought the new stuff, I had to re figure out where to put it. I know, I know. That, and that was, I spent a lot of time doing that this um, when I get a chance so to like, get in and work. I have it's some fun, of that. It's, it's fun getting new stuff, but then it's, it's like, okay, where do I put it again? Mm -hmm. Well, I did go to, um, I drove my husband off at, at the airport and I ran by um, Goodwill because they had its um, discount day for senior citizens. And I got these drawer organizers, which I have no drawers to put them in. But I have, I'm going to see if I can't figure out some way of making them where I can make a drawer so I can organize stuff in them. I'm tacking oh, it I bread, bread I spread down together. with some I, hot glue. So that I, way, if I want to want to change the bed spread, I can just put a heat gun to it. And I'll release. That way it, 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 So is this a room? I love that you're going to redecorate your room. That's going to be cute. Oh my goodness. See, we should start. That should be our thing. We'll just everybody make a room. And we'll, it, we'll decorate it for all the different seasons. Instead of doing like decor, which I love to do, but instead of doing decor videos, you just do your mini room decor. And I, oh, Allie, I hope you will join us. Or Al, I don't know how to call your name. Is this Al? But I, will, I hope you will join us in um, Al. It's A L L and then is all about. Okay. So we're going to call you Al, and unless you tell us otherwise. So I hope mm -hmm. you will join us on our collaboration, which is on May 28th, uh, right? And we're posting at 4 Eastern. Yes, 4. PM Eastern. And you can uh, submit anything that you're just many. And I said, we're not, and we're not, there's no number. You can do one thing, do a whole house if you want to. There, there's no scale passion. either. Huh? There's no scale either, so you can do... There is no scale. You don't have to be scale accurate, but if you want to do uh, something, like if you like uh, Barbies, you want to do something for Barbies, or you want to do something, it's good to you know, tell people that that's your... kind of That was your goal. That's a good to know, too. So that, you know, follow those type scales, 18-inch uh, doll scales, things like that. Oh, my gosh. And all these... Bed. 
Oh, that is uh, unbelievable. I'm sorry, you don't have near enough pillows. You need like, you know, a bunch of throw pillows. Don't y'all agree? She needs a lot of throw pillows. Lots and lots of throw pillows. Because she's so good. Oh, when she needs an afghan that she made herself. And yeah. That's why That's why we're going to overdo it, like, and just freak out and try to put everything on one thing. I think that oh, would kind of have to face ourselves. These are these are um, the frames that I had in my mini living room. Mm-hmm. That I'm gonna add to the I bedroom love over that. here. That's gonna look good in the bedroom. They're pretty. So it's gonna Absolutely. go like this on this wall over here, next to the little bookcase. Mm -hmm. And also, I lost I had, my other case. I had oh. these made up years ago. She she made a mistake, and there were supposed to be buttons. Mm -hmm. So she she let me keep the the ones that weren't buttons. Okay. Can you see what it says? How did I lose that tiny? Oh. What's it say on there? Oh, in the middle, is it Indian head? No, it's a ball what of yarn. It? Oh, I do see it now. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded it was, me of the headdress. That the light of it. There, look, look. Avalanche. Ah! You saw my living room. I mean, my living room. Oh, no, we did not. No, we were, you're too quick. You're too quick for that. There you go. Now you can see it better. Stabilized. Yeah, I put some light on it. Oh yeah, that helps. Oh, that is beautiful. They're supposed to be like buttons, like. I was like, I was using them to put on my hats. Oh yeah. So you have it. Wait a second. Go back. What do you? Who made those? Who made? She who laser. Made? She laser cut them. That's right. Now, yeah. So where do you get that done? I wish you have a place in town that will laser Here cut we, stuff for me. Here's the buttons that she made for made for me, and I put these on hats. Oh, those are adorable. That's and a brilliant these, idea. These these were a little bit bigger, but she uh -huh. still sent them to me because she already had done them. Okay. It wasn't my my fault. She she made them bigger. Those are sweet. So, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna, I was thinking of putting that on, on the wall over here, next to the bookcase. Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah. But I had I've had these for five six years or something and if you want this is her this is her information yeah there Angela's is those line uh laser engraving she's on etsy now the um one of the people we like to follow is bentley house and bentley house is a great supporter of other people like that she will go and uh, buy she buys a lot of stuff that people have made and now I'm going to make some lamps. Oh yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited about the lamp. Though. This is such a good idea. I gotta so say I that definitely makes me want to kind of do a contemporary room. Just a, if nothing else, just a room. Um, I found these um, doll templates there. online. When we get off here, I'll I'll I'll, I'll post her link down below. Uh huh. And um. She has diff different sizes, so if you, depending on the size you want, you can you can get those. So I'm cutting it out of the Dollar Tree chopping mat, and we like that because it has such a that beautiful translucent mm -hmm. film. You know that makes such a great translucent. Uh, pro uh, windows and things like that that she's used. Yeah, that's for. what I use for uh, on my, the back of my windows and door. That's a great idea. I don't know if I would even thought of that. I mean, I really wouldn't have because I would have thought clear, but I like the translucent better because it's kind of. Uh, what are you, what are you going to look at? One of the things I I like, um, you know, different members of my doll making group that I like to watch their stuff. They do like the scenes for their to set to take photos of their dolls and those things. Yeah, it's another good example of just miniature doing some miniature stuff. And and they just use uh, one one lady just takes the wood from not wood the cardboard from the backboards used for like science projects and things like that. Mm -hmm. I love, I just went straight to science, but I guess all those the school projects. And then cuts them down to where they're the size, whatever size she needs them in in length. Or height, I should say. So my this glue that I'm using is not sticking as fast as I would like for it to. That's why I'm struggling. My little hands don't want to play with this glue at all. Nope. 
Nope, 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 nope. I'm so going to see if my double sided tape back. works on this. Because it's, it's practically invisible when you use it. Uh huh. Instead of using hot glue or something. So here's the. I'm going to put the frosted side out. So I'm going to put that because the, the other side's kind of got like a slick finish on it. Yeah. One's, and then one's kind of got a tooth to it. Yep. Yep. To know. So I'm just putting some double sided tape. And this is going to be the easiest lamp you have ever seen. You can put a um, paint the inside. So if you wanted a, ah, a different lost color, uh -huh. you could paint the inside a different color if you want not clear. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to do the stained glass with, but you need a some kind of paint that's going to give you that clear finish. I mean, you can get the stained glass paints, but something. There like you go. That. I have the the tape on this side here, so you're just going to bring this side to over here. And you just, I would bend it a little bit to help it along. I'm trying to decide what other designs I want to put on this. Bye, Fabby. Bye, you God. Thank you for coming. Yep. She says she'll leave the stream on because she Oh, that's great. Us. Thank you for that. It's always good. Good to do. Appreciate yeah. that. You got to finagle it. Okay, what well, did I, I? I cut something wrong. Where's the pattern? No! Did I cut something wrong? Oh, yeah. This part here is too big. Hold on. Okay. Easy to do. I, I just cut, I just traced it wrong. So you just be careful when you're tracing. Because huh? I was doing it with pencil and in, in the, in the slick, so it's, it's hard to um, keep it straight. Like I am now. Yeah, this look this glue is a lot easier, not that easy to work with that I have. It's because it's like thick. And the thickness is making my stuff stand up a little bit higher off of go. um than I wanted it to. Even though this has like a peel and stick, it ain't sticking. It's not sticking. It's old. Let's try this again. Wrap it around. Uh-huh. And meet up. Mm -hmm. it's still a little off. Don't know why. Ugh. Oh, let's see. And are you going to like clamp it with something to help you keep it together? Or is it glued pretty fast? It glues pretty fast. Okay. There we go. And just, just keep the seam to the back of the, of the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to just glue this little guy. These little do um, Dollar Tree bottles, that I think they come four or five in a, in a pack. The uh -huh. tall ones. I've seen that. To the top here. And there's my lamp. I may need to add something to the top. All right, now I have glue all over there my hands. This is why I love the people who do this, and they're so neat. And their little fingers I, I, are I, so I think that, that And I constantly they, got glue on me. I think they cut and cut back and forth a lot the messiness and i can't see working and being that neat no i i think they they just they just cut to, um and clean up and and then re record mm -hmm. i'm using art glitter glue up here because i don't i don't want to use um the hot glue because first it's plastic mm -hmm. and then I guess I'm gonna put some glue here. To... I will say this tacky, this glue that I am using is kind of like working with hot glue. You get those strings, and they're oh yes, you do. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. I don't notice that as much with um, uh, I you know the Aileen's ah really. Okay, I'm 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 gonna have to put some glue on it and clamp it, and then I'm gonna do something to help it stay that shape. I'm gonna hit it with my with my heat gun. Just a, just a little bit. So, oh my gosh, I've got glue all over this. 
I'm going to paint on it so I'm not really worried, but I would have tried a little harder not to have gotten paint all over my little centerpiece. I'm going to paint it on. Okay. I'm hitting up. All right. So, I, just to be different, I added some different textures to it. I don't know why I'll do the same. Could have been cute, maybe. I just did all the same. But I just, but I, you know, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't matter what color they are. They're just going to be painted over. And then what I did on my last one is always going to be kind of squishy. But I used uh, some Mod Podge first just to kind of get a really good coating of something to paint with. Everything solid. Dry. Okay. And I know I didn't wait for my glitter. I'm going to mute so I can put my heat gun on. Huh? Okay. So I'm going to. Um, I hope my brush doesn't shed too much. I have an old brush. I'm going to use an older brush to do the uh, Mod Podge with. And I'm just going to hit it. And this is just matte so I can paint over it. I'm kind of kind of tilt this down for y'all. Glob it on there. Because I kind of want it. This one, like I said, it's kind of riding up a little bit. And I don't really know if I like that. And I hope it sticks. So I'm kind of using it to little pieces so that the paint won't get all up in it. Uh, and try to go under. I want it to be a, like a real smooth look. You know what? I need something to hold this with. So I don't have Mod Podge all over me. I'm reaching for my yeah. hemostat. So I found my giant. Um, I can't get this done. I found my giant tweezers and everything that I got. I ordered off of um, Amazon, and they're for fit. They're for aquariums, so they're like for feeding your fish or whatever. And they're really handy because then if you're working in your dollhouse and you have like mine, one of mine 16 and a half inches deep. So, well, I guess 16 inches, the whole thing, 16 and a half. And it's kind of hard to reach back to the back and do something and not bump your hands on stuff on the way back. So having these really long tweezers is a good idea or, or like a hemostat <coughs> so you can place things. I don't know about lock the hemostat locking, try not to lock it because it would be hard to get unlocked. It gets tricky that way. So I am trying to put this on pretty thick to make a smoother, oh, I'm going to drop it. So one of the things that I do like about one of the ladies that we follow, who is name I never can think of, but she has the My Dollhouse Diaries, and there it goes, is that she tapes her, she puts down blue tape by taping it, which I don't have any in here, do I? Like I took it all to the shop. Yeah. So she tapes blue tape down, you know, where the sticky side's up, and then she'll like tape it down that way with some tape mm -hmm. on you know, the sides, and then she paints on that, and that gives her the, uh, it holds it for her while the, you know, she's painting stuff. I don't know what that was. Is that glue? Yes, it's glue. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been watching all these people that have lasers. Yeah, I know. I can't watch those people. I don't oh, have them. How do I want one? It's just money. Just throw money at it. No big deal. Oh, I tell you what I want to do. Not Is it the laser? Not the laser cut, but it's the other one. I, I was looking at the ball-jointed dolls people are making. Why are you crooked? I love these tight one-six scale ball-jointed dolls. Oh, my gosh. They're so amazing looking the details they're putting in these teeny tiny hi jay jay's here hey hey we're um talking about our uh thing coming up at the end of the month on the help you participate and see my glue did not stick on that one because you know somebody did not wait for their glue to dry who could that be what do you do? it's a little it's something's wrong i don't think i cut it right Oh, really? It looks crooked. Yeah, let me see. Hmm. Or is, it, or is it just my, my, my... I just don't my, know. So she could have a pattern, but a pattern would basically just be a circle. Do you have a circle cutter? Or is it not a circle? Is it not that rounded? And I guess it has to be... Well, no, that would matter. I don't know. I think it's just the way I, I traced it or something. Mm-hmm. I have enough uh, plastic so I can... 
So I'm going to try to leave this one here to dry. Nope. Still looks weird. All right. So this will also act as a glue to hold, hold this little shape together. I'm going to hit this with my hair dryer. Try to speed up all this process. I'm going to be paying for this later. Let me yes. trace it again. Got to be a little bit more careful this time. Because with the paper, when I roll it, it's fine. The goal is to put like a little painting inside, so I don't mind the background being a little rough. Maybe I should um, cut this out of cardstock so I, I can get a, a different color for the top, maybe. Well, then you won't have, wait, your lamp? Yeah. The shade? No, you won't get that translucent effect, though. Is that what you mean? Or are you looking, just making your pattern out of it? No, just putting a different you color. You have a circle shade. cutter? Yeah, but it's not big would... enough. Oh, okay. That's a good reason. Because the outside circle of this is, um, I'll let you know in a second. Hmm. I just realized I have no, oh, here's a bottle. No water. I can't believe I still haven't painted that one piece. Oh, I can't believe I still haven't painted my little bench. Oh, one of the reasons it's sitting kind of wonky, and I need to set kind of um, need to figure out which part. It's um three and a half, and my largest circle cutter is three two and a half. Oh no. Yeah. So anyway, here's my I have, little a, little a, I have a die cut, but that requires me taking a moving a lot of things to get to it. Okay. I'm gonna hit my hair dryer so you can keep everybody entertained. Okay. So I'm going to try to cut this again and be a little more, whatchamacallit. You have to be careful because it looks crooked sometimes. But we'll see if this one works better. You cut inside the pencil line so you don't have a pencil line when you fold it back up. There we go. Cut this one off of here. Make sure that it's the same. Because when I fold it with the paper, it lines up nicely. You see? That's real cute. So let me see if I traced it right this time. Maybe a little off. Yep, I'm off again. Why? This is the is the wrong way. That's why. This way. Nope. Still off. It's off on the inside. Nope. There we go. It still has a little piece over here. There we go. So I'm gonna heat um heat it a little bit with my heat gun. When I was doing this, some of my stuff kind of bubbles up to make it like more pliable. There we go. Something so what are the key I am doing something wrong. Yeah, one of the key things to working with miniatures is let things dry, which I'm not letting happen right now. And patience. Lots and lots of patience. Yeah, and more. This thing is not... Things don't, don't always line up when you try to do something. Like, no. There we uh, go. Yeah, if we're in a hurry, you can forget it. There's no hurrying through this. There, I clipped it. Now I, 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 can, I can see where I, I messed using, up. Yeah, I'm using my metallic from... Um, uh, what's this? A deco art. Okay. I clipped one side, that way it stays in place. That's a good tip. See, I yeah. clipped the paper paper with the plastic. Uh -huh. Since the plastic is so so um, slick. Yes. So that way. Are you using like, what kind of clips are you using? Yeah. They'll spring it. Yeah, from the Dollar Tree. Oh, that's where yeah. you get the Dollar Tree, yeah. Yeah, from the Dollar Tree. couple of coats. There you go. Yeah, this really needs to dry. <laughs> Come on. 
Hair dryers are just not going to cut it. That's better. Not perfect, but better. Let me get this out of the way. So I'm just giving this a nice gold paint. I'm going to clip it yeah. before I glue it. A couple of co coats because of uh, sun dry. So I can heat it up into shape. Uh -huh. What the heat does, it makes the, the the plastic more pliable. Softer, right, right. Yeah, this is gold. It's going on really thin because of the pop the, the is, It's a little softer now when it's heated up. Uh-huh. So that way it works a little better. Yay. And you, can, and you can embellish that with little trims and things like that too. Oh, I need to find some some, some little. I was thinking. I'm not sure if I if, if I'm gonna go all that way, but just mm -hmm. put a grid. On oh, I like the simple, but I'm thinking just a tiny, like simple trim, like something very tidy, you know, around it. I was thinking of putting a frame on top of the living room. I mean, the yes, bedroom, so I can drop a chandelier down. Oh yeah, that would be great. Oh my gosh. That would be fantastic. That is another that's level. The, that's towards the end because if, if I leave the if yeah. I have the frame, it'll be harder to work with. So. Chandelier. Woo! Really? Not a ceiling fan? Seriously? No. Huh? Not a ceiling fan? No, because it has the four poster. Oh, yeah, it would whack on the fear right. It would hit the... <laughs> I don't want my people to cut their hair. Smart thinking. I know they're so dangerous in kids' rooms. <laughs> Down fans. Because we always had, we had loft beds for our kids, and it was like, oh, so dangerous. Can have. Um... Yeah, wow. When, when I, I first I got my son a loft I bed. I had not used this paint now. For his old bedroom, and it, it was really close to the ceiling fan. I mean, like, I don't know if I want to get it that, leave it that high. Yeah. I think my uh, my gold leaf would have done, gone on here better. It's not liking this because uh, it really helps if you let your Mod Podge dry. I think this should have cured like overnight and then I could have done it. Because <laughs> there's still many, so many more steps to this and I can't even get this part done. Anybody in the chat um, is interested in um, joining us for the collab on May 28th? Yeah, be sure you let us know if you want to join the the uh, chat room too on Instagram and yes. contact either one of us and and you can uh, via, via Instagram. All right, yeah. I guess you just leave a comment too. We can go find you on Instagram and add you as well. I've been posting um, pictures of different houses and miniatures and stuff. Mm -hmm. but that's because I'm working on miniatures. But so if you want to work on something else, that's fine too. Yeah. Like I was, well, it's like okay. So I was watching. You know, Annie made that uh, that horse. She painted that horse to be yeah. uh, you know, like a, a miniature carousel, even though it's huge. But it's not as big as a real carousel horse. It's just yeah, it's, 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 it's a smaller. Small. It's a smaller. Or, yeah. Like a, so that I've would be a miniature. This, yeah. I made this little um, barrel of apples. And somebody's talking about doing the food. The foods are fun. The foods and are so a, a I like that we kind of do like a little tea party for, um, yeah, like basically doing like the Mad Hatter tea parties and things like that to make, if you had a, uh, I have, I have a Alice in Wonderland doll, to, but to, have to actually set the table in that size would be fun for her size. I have the little Madame Alexander doll. Let me clip this so that it can dry and make and cut the second one. I'm like really disappointed in this particular paint that I'm using because this happens. This is um this is a product by Deco Art and it's very even though I've shaken it up, it's just not wanting to stick to this at all. It's just sliding around. But then again, my my it's not dry. Let me see if I can get it to build up. I don't want you to do that. Though. That's for sure. What are you painting with that? I'm just trying to paint my um. 
you know what I should have done? Yeah, I'm going to regroup. I'm regrouping. I'm painting it red first. So anytime you want a really pretty rich red, uh, gold, paint it red first. And then the red, and then you paint the gold over it. And it just gives that gold a rich color. Got Becky. Got find a good red over here to do. My farm red. That's like a good red. Nice dark red. Ah, it's old. A lot of my paint I've had since the 90s, and I really need to get rid of them. There's always a good opportunity when I pick a thing of paint up, and I go, oh, yeah, that needs to go. Actually, this one's in good shape. To be as old as it is, it's in excellent shape. So I'm just going to mix that red right on in there. Yeah, so it's always good to start with a good base coat of a solid red being the number one. Uh, I've seen people do what other colors. Maybe yellow. I guess you can do yellow, but it seems like you're going to get a brighter. You just want that rich red. You kind of want the red. You want that dark gold. You really want a darker color. I've seen, um, um, I think it's Bentley House. Era. Uh -huh. She paints stuff brown. She and does. She adds the, the color on top, like black. I did that as well, yeah. It's just if you if the olden days, they still do it, though. I don't say it's olden days. When they did olden gold, days. <laughs> you always use red. For under your gold leaf. Okay. And it just because it created that richer color. I don't have gold leaf, but I, when I get some, uh, yeah, I do have some gold that. leaf. My, all my glue's dried up, and I hang on to the bottles because I got to get and order more. But I'm not, like, I'm not going to order it until I know I'm going to be using it because it'll just dry up too. You're not using it. That's a weird thing. You don't use your stuff, it kind of dries up. Mike's still with us. Mike is still here. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, Appreciate Mike. it. What are you working on now, Mike? I know you were working on something the other day. And how are you feeling? Feeling good? This has been a had, record had, year for said, Alan. Um, I'll tell you that much. Working with, um, was it, he was standing for nine hours or something like that? Yeah. My thing is, I, that I will do is I will squat down to do something and just stay in the and just stay squatted like a little kid, you know, and uh, and then forget <laughs> I got to get back up. And my knees are like, no, you can't do this anymore. You're old. Yeah, that's me. You're just a little old lady. You can't be squatting. I, I, I have to get my husband. Like, I need to get up. I know. It's like, oh my gosh, I like fell over and just crawled. But yeah, standing. Oh yeah, I will stand and stand. I was slumping yesterday too, kind of standing and looking down at stuff. Oh my neck last night. I was like, what is going on? Did I not? Was I? Did I not hurt when I was a kid? Is that? I just didn't remember that kind of stuff hurts. I lost that part of my memory. <laughs> don't stand for an hour looking down at something. No, um, la, uh, when was it? Two years ago when I was making all those um, masks. Mm -hmm. I, I had to wear my back brace. Right. Because you're standing a lot or what? Yeah, because to, to cut, I need to stand. Mm -hmm. because I tried cutting sitting down and I no. can't get the, the, the leverage on, on the road. You cannot. Car. Not even. So... So I had to wear my, if not, I, every 10 minutes, I would have to sit, sit down and, and just relax for a, for a second. Yeah. And I'm really, that part, I, if I'm on a roll, I kind of forget that whole part about sitting down, taking a break, setting mm -hmm. a timer. Oh, my timer will go off. I will do it. I'll set a timer. Finished my two big projects and passed it on to its new owner and Maker Central Show on Sunday videos. We'll be in a week or so. We will be in a week or so. Oh, I want to see that. Okay. Right. I can't. Right, so there's me. like a nice messy red job all over my hands, but I'm gonna hit it with my hair my uh, hair dryer real quick, and so I'm gonna hit this. And... Okay. I need to figure out a way to trace because for some reason I'm getting off the line. Glue. Combining the I arm of the just angle put a pose, pose, camera, mount off, tripod, so I can film on my lathe. Oh, 
Okay. Ah. For some reason, I was reading latches. <laughs> it says lathes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I can't read either. So someone on Facebook that I've been following, you know, just that group uh, about making stuff out every day and they're making all yeah, the new I've, been, I've been watching them too. Perfume bottles and all that. But she set up the cutest display. And she's oh, just on a roll. Yeah. But you can get on that. That's the thing. You get on that kick. You're sitting there making that mess anyway. You can make those things for hours and just have a blast. And we hope I, you do I, that. We hope that oh whatever people do, they enjoy it and they let it dry in between coats, <laughs> like we're doing. I, I put, Don't do us uh, I was supposed to put the the frosted side out, and I put the frosted side in. Mm, no way! After all that, are you serious? Yes. Now I have to reglue this one. Yeah, and you switching it? Oh my god! Yeah, because yeah. I think that definitely make a difference on that. It does. I don't want the shiny part out. It would look definitely more like a real piece. Really? I'm getting the good stuff because this is my good stuff. This is my liquid leaf. We're just going to see what happens. On wet paint, no doubt. Okay, I have to have a tool to get this open because it's like, Drew, why do you have paint all over you? Because I keep doing this. And I don't think I have my tool in here anymore. Oh, yeah. I've never used um, liquid leaf. I think once you start having to use vice grips to open anything, they all get chewed up, and I don't think that I don't think you can open any other way. I bought the wrong vice grips. Well, that my, are my Mod Podge bottle because yeah, I, 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 I have the big container. I had to pry it open because the, the glue. I have the wrong one. I have the little one, and this is not big enough. No way. Let go. Nope. I'm probably gonna chip my teeth, grinding my teeth. Okay, it's not gonna use that today. I feel like I get like all I want to have is that color. I want to get like silver and things like. Oh, that. I know what to use. I'm, I'm gonna use super glue. For super glue for the the lampshades that keep on popping open. I have super glue gel. Oh, okay. So the, Do you have yeah, that that stuff that you had to kind of come back and put your uh, spray it to like? Do it make it dry faster? No, this is just Dog Tree Super Glue Gel. Yeah. No, no, so we no bought the stuff that I've you. Seen, I've seen the one that, you, that you, you spray, but um. Yeah. That that's be, both, be, yeah. Go ahead. That's beyond my um, what you would call it budget. Well, the accelerator, mm -hmm. and what I have learned from the accelerator is I don't think it holds. No. I don't think it stays. Yeah, I think it, it doesn't get a good chance to cure properly with that accelerator. I have not had luck with using that spray accelerator. Plus, you kind of have to have somebody there to help you hold. You have to be holding it in place while the other person sprays it. But I can't say I've had the best luck using accelerator. Because I don't want to use hot glue because it, it, it could melt it. Yeah, I would think. I'm not then, sure about, um, yeah, I hope that works. Um, pin, you say you have a pin, quick dry. Frost side out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Making sure frost is side out. Now hear this. Listen, learn from our mistakes. If you want to frost the side out, make sure you do it before you glue it down. Yeah. Okay, put this back over here. Oh gosh, I gotta clean that off real quick. Yeah, this will look so much better. <laughs> I'll let it dry. The, the seam on, on the lamps, just put them towards the back of the room. You can't see it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They'll never know. I was trying to get something done before four o'clock. I don't know how we're gonna make it today. Oh my gosh. Wait, I even wait, want wait, I want to be painting at it. Never know. Stopping right there, let that dry. Let me get some paint. extra blue in here. Let me take it off. I'm making the painting, turning this down so you can see what I'm playing with. Okay. You know, it's not it's not big, but yeah. So I kind of got it's too red. I'm gonna have to add some more of my. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely have to add more gold to it, but it's just so wet right now. Let's see what I can do. Well, it, it's good for us to do this, so that way the, the people that are watching know not to do that. Yeah, that's what we just learned. No, we, we make the booboo so you don't have to. Seriously? 
Well, I have no I preconceived idea what this painting's going to be. I'm just playing. Just pulling out my inner Robert, you know, Bob Ross here. Yeah, just fun. Just having some fun. Well, I had a Bob Ross Bob moment Sky. the other day. You had a Bob Ross moment? The You know, the happy accident? Yeah, oh yeah. Sorry, my life. Mm -hmm. The, 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 um, what, what, what you call the collab for Friday? All right. The Mother's Day um, Remembrance. Oh, yeah. With Annie. What I wanted to do didn't work out. But the final project, I liked it better. Oh, wow. That is great. I mean, oh, I like this much better than what I was planning. Oh, my gosh. That almost looks like a painting. Look. Oh, let me hold it the other way. And it's all stuck to my fingers. It's like a painting. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know what, but it's kind of like a painting. <laughs> Where's my other? Nice and clouds, like colorful little sky. Oh. Happy little sky. Happy little clouds going on here. Yeah, I don't put a little pink in the, in the sky. Mm -hmm. Gonna make it, you know. I mean, just a miniature. I put a lot of water, white down for something you don't need a lot of white for. There's a little body of water down here somewhere. Happy little stream going through. <laughs> Lake going through. Grab some brown. Who cares what color it was? We don't know. It's just brown in a bottle. Got some of that. I'm glad I got the quilt on there because I was, you know, pushing it off, pushing it off. Mm hmm And go, I gotta do it. Oh, I would hate to wait. Yeah, that would be a bad thing if you were trying waiting on that one because you'll be, you know, rushing it and you would not enjoy it. You not enjoy it. You don't enjoy it when you rush it. That's why we're like playing around. Mm -hmm. uh, things that we want to use and then and rush away. can't rush this I'll be right back okay you notice I'm not cleaning my brush I'm just throwing down paint here oops let me be more black than I wanted though get some of that off go get the brown again my brush is falling apart as we speak because someone left it in the water this is what happens. I'll put a little landscaping. I know my paintbrushes are now in the way of what I'm doing. I wish I could zoom. Sorry about that, guys. Just a little rolling hills kind of in the background. A little mountainous thing going. Yeah. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm painting. It's just going to either have to come together or not. We'll know when we're done. Oh, that way too much black. Mm, happy little lake. Got to smooth that out so that my lake's not so. Green! We need green! Let's just go ahead and stick with local colors, what we used to call it in back in the college days. Like if it's green, then grab green. And just mix colors to it. And we're just grabbing a good old fashioned uh, Christmas green. Wow, well, yeah. It's green. But we met, we're going to muddy it up. Don't worry about it. Just a little bit of green in this mix. Gonna have to have some trees. Happy little trees growing. On, growing in our uh, uh, the other room. Uh, in our foreground. Oh, can't see what I'm doing. Got a glare on it. It's a pine tree-ish thing. A couple more trees. Just kind of growing on the mountain. A tree life over here. In these oh, little jars, yeah, I, I can unscrew them and add something inside, like sand or something. Oh, I have some white stone. Let me see how, how that looks. Some what? This. These little crushed stones. I need a smaller brush because I'm painting Not much smaller. Huh? How's living? Thanks, okay. David. Thanks for joining us. Look. Oh yeah. Is that sand? Did you say what is that? It's it's uh, it's like a, a aquarium rock. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Did I get it for Dollar Tree? There's I have a whole bunch here. It's white. They have it in different colors. Mm -hmm. But not only that, but this gives it some weight for the to, for the bottom. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. It has some color, so it's not just clear. 
You can change it at any color, oh, uh, you know, like for the holidays. I can change it to red or green. Mm -hmm. Tiger brush. Gotta have some better glasses so I can see what I'm painting. Hi, Larry. Hey, Larry. She's, he says, howdy, howdy to all my wonderful, wonderful friends. Oh, you're so sweet. Look, I like it. I do too. That is so cute. I have a thing that I bought that is covered with, I mean, full of sand, a bottle. And then, they, you know, it's just a bottle, like a wine bottle or something. And then, of course, they filled it with um, sand, you know, and it's got a kind of a cute, um, the worst painting ever. It's a tree right in the middle of their painting. Oh, not Bob Ross, that's for sure. These are always to the side. I have no light source. I'm making this up as I go along. <laughs> Bear with me. So what you get from making stuff up? You have to have a light source and a shadow. You have to, because it won't work right if you don't. I keep forgetting I have a bandit on my finger and I'm thinking it's glue. Yeah, you keep picking at it, kind of bumping it, like. You know. like I'm like, what is? Oh, it's a band aid. Duh. Super glue didn't work. Oh no, on your skin? No, it doesn't work. No, on on the. Oh, okay, because no, yeah, people put minute. super glue on their skin to like make it the band, you know, to, as a band. Well, didn't. actually, this one worked. The second one I did worked. Yeah. Hmm. Let me see if I can. Probably because I had glue on it on it before. Let's see if I can rub it off. I got some alcohol over here. Look, I got another container to cover up later. And store stuff. I know. Maybe I should start investing in some of those wipes because they have so many uses now. <laughs> Because I've been using like makeup wipes. I do need to get. I do like using wipes to wash my hands with, though. I really do. I like the wipes um, to wipe my desk up when I have glue or. Oh, yeah. On it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's weird because I use a lot of those wipes when I was teaching. That was like our, our thing that we cleaned our tables with at the end of the day. Because mm -hmm. it was just so much easier. I had spray, but you know, I went back and sprayed after they did, but they gave them a chance to kind of clean up their messes. And I would go back and do a better job. Mike said he's going to try to film making one of his dip pens tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, like you're dipping it in um in the paints and stuff. Is that what you're talking about? And after, you, after you have uh, turned it? Oh, I no. See. My, see, the glue, super glue sticks to what I don't want it to stick to. <laughs> Oh no! Like you, yeah. I, I I lost the tip to it, so I had it on my desk and it was, it got stuck to the desk. Oh no! Like oh, I said, like a Hey, it's alive. What can we say? This is the stuff that happens during live broadcast. It's always this was this is the stuff that happens during regular days. We well, just yeah, we just out. It out. Yeah, let's go ahead and just admit. Yeah, this is, we're all guilty of that. I'll have that problem. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. I'm just playing. I'm trying to create some ground. That's not we we, gross. we edit um we edit a four hour video into twenty minutes. So you, you, uh -huh, you get, uh -huh. that's you why a lot of stuff. Pens that calligraphers use, Jerry. Huh? Dip, she, um Mike says Pens that calligraphers oh, use okay. where you quills. dip the nib yeah, uh -huh. in ink. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I want to quills. try calligraphy. I, I haven't that. tried that yet. Okay. Because, you know, I don't know why when you, said, when you said dipping, I thought, I was just thinking about that, that you know, that painting technique everybody does. But you can, you like put the surface, like spray paint or whatever on the surface of water. And then you would dip your whatever in well, it. I've seen that. It's called um, hydro dipping. Yes. That, so that for some reason that's what came to mind when you were saying that, and I thought that's what you're referring to. I tried that one time; it didn't look so pretty. 
Um, I did it on a lamp, and it was kind of cool. Look, it did look kind of cool. I mean, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, and I used it for years, and it was interesting. Uh, like you just saw a lamp, you know, the round part of a just lamp, like a ginger lamp, you know what I mean, just to give it some personality. But yeah, I think, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know why it was not ex all, the, all that, you know, like you said, it wasn't all that, it wasn't all you thought it was going to be. I think Just probably there's only had a couple colors or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because you'll see the videos and they're amazing. But then you're like, well, how many videos did you make? And they weren't amazing. That's what I'm mm -hmm. That's what seen, I I've seen some, this one guy, and I don't know where he's from, but he hydro dips um, like um, construction hats. Oh. And he has a pattern on it. Oh, that's cute. I mean, like, how does he do that? Nice. So we were watching a movie, and the guys were, like, doing construction work. And I said, first of all, uh, OSHA, no way would you be out there working around this equipment without hard hats on. And I, I just I just picked the show apart. And then, you know, he was right working right next to where the bucket was going into the dirt. Mm -hmm. And this is all the TV show, not, you know, real life. But I was like, yeah. No, Elsha would say, no, mm -mm, no hard hat. And you don't work that close to actual working equipment. You kind of let the equipment do its job. Then you get in there and then you get in. Not that I've done this, but I know some rules. I had to learn those in college. No, I don't like that at all. Man, see, my little tiny painting is going to take me forever to paint. And that's just crazy. That's what you have to realize too. The, the 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 little things that you think is gonna take um, less time actually oh, yeah. takes more time because you gotta be more more detailed. Yeah, you're like, gonna see. I'm, I'm gonna heat this again. For some reason, it, it wanted to pop open. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm having my painting will distract you from how bad my, my frame's looking right now. I'm sorry. It's supposed to the frame I had. I had a different frame in mind. <laughs> I can't even really see. I am working here. I keep moving it where I can see it, even though you can't see it. Larry's getting some chest x-rays tomorrow. Oh, Larry. Larry's had some trouble. Mm-hmm. Be in my our prayers. Yes. Gosh, yes. I didn't heat these up like I did the, the first one. Mm -hmm. and they want to pop open. Ugh. So what? Is that like a bad thing? If no, well, it, I've never done little lamps like this before, so it's a trial and error. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's popping up and because it's the air is filling it up. Is that what you mean? Next time, I'm painting a portrait of some random person because I'm telling you, the still life <laughs> killing me. <laughs> it's killing me. It is. I'm there just like, go. I'm nothing to like look at. I'm just making it up. I'm kind of. Well, the, 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 I the heat gun. Either. The heat gun softens the plastic a little bit, so it mm -hmm. stays in that shape. I didn't do that to the to the second and third one like okay. I did the first one. So when I went to glue it onto the 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 base it right. popped open <laughs> and why did it go back to its original shape jerk well i thought the clouds would be a lot more fun to paint i guess i need to bring in more pinks and stuff i just need to get me some red on here Ugh. oh well that's that's drying let me get some colored paper some yeah color. oh yeah let's do that let's check it out let's get some ideas we're looking at, if you're just joining us, we're going to look at some colored paper on her wall just to we're put it up there to get some of this Huh? Oh, that's bright. 
Ah, that's that's but that's what we need to see. How, how... Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Bring this forward. Here's the yellow or mustard yellow. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh huh. I like it. I do like it. I mean, I do like it. That's it's a cool look. I think it goes well with the, with the the comforter too. Yeah. So we got that color. Let's see what the color we got. No, that's too bright. <laughs> this bright yellow. Like a, a highlight of yellow. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't know. It's just not pot. Um, it ain't doing it for me. Not others. Here's an orange orange. I, I think it's, mm -hmm. it, it needs to be a light color. Kind of killing it. It is a lot. That is a lot yeah. of dark. Let's see what other, other light colors I have in here. Oh, let me show um, Larry my TV. Oh, yeah. Yes. Here's this painting that I'm going to do a watercolor on. So, so, but if you pull this painting to the side, there's a TV. I love Not it. Only that, awesome. It angles that way or it can angle that way. And then when you're done with it, you push it back and you hide it again. That's exactly what everybody needs. A perfect little house. <laughs> I was going to try to do it with um, like shutters. Uh -huh. But um, the the uh, yeah. not long enough. It's not, yeah. Well, I'm going to say and where you have your placement, it would have been, mm -hmm, you would have run out of room on the side. Yeah, I got you. Gotcha. I don't have a big piece of this one, but a light green. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm not, uh, I don't know. I, I'd have to see that one a little bit closer up because let me put you in the thing. Hang on. Let me, let me, move, let me look at the, you. Get, the, get it closer to the camera. That one just not work. There it is. Because I see, um, I mean, I, I'd love for that to work. There we go. Here's a closer. Mm-hmm. Well, here's the light green. Oh, well, actually, I need to see it this, on this side. Here's the light green. I don't know, mm -hmm. but I don't know how well it's going to go with your thing, though. Your, um... So far, I'm liking the mustard. You're liking nothing? The mustard. Oh, I do, too. Yeah. I got a, a light mustard and a dark mustard. Oh, wait, let me see. That looks like. Here's the dark mustard. Okay, maybe too much, but we'll see. Here's the light mustard. I always talk about using. Oh, wait, put the dark mustard back. I'm going to pick that one up. Actually, I kind of like that one better. Actually, I like the that darker one. The one? Uh-huh, I do. I don't know. It just warms it. It's just a warmer yellow. I mean, yellow's warm, but you know what I mean? It's just uh -huh. more of a neutralized one. I don't know what the words I want. I can't think of words. I don't want to use brown. Here's the white or off-white. I can't tell. I think that's too bright. The white's too bright. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. I mean, your bluish gray that is your wall is not, you know, it's just a soothing color. But I think since you've added such a bold black and, and all that stuff in it, you really need to stick with that boldness. Thank you, Larry. What do you say? What do you think, Larry? Yes, I'm so happy for all of you. You all, y'all, you ladies and guys, such beautiful work. Oh, thank you. And he says, I first saw miniatures like that on CSI. I saw that. Episode. I know that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The lady. Yes. The light. I love that. I've said. Oh, so I had to go and and see her whole thing. I love that. The lady who did the miniatures uh, in real life and they kind of based it on that. Oh, that, I didn't know that. No, there's a lady who did those back in the. Oh, yeah. Back before, like.
like, oh, you had, okay, I don't know what to call her. But she okay. did, okay, they're called, now listen, the nut house, I think they're called in a nutshell. And that what is, that's where the expression in a nutshell came from. It's like the nutshell houses or something. You got to go look those up. I got to go check that out. Mm -hmm. I love those, the other, the, the Oh, but hers are just, because this was a thing you just, I mean, people did doll houses, but she did this to kind of set up a crime scene for, so that they can, based on the pictures they had, so that they could really study them. And they're in a museum now. And they're yeah, just, yeah. yeah. Where's the, the mustard on both walls? I think that's going to be a good color. Uh, you maybe when you get your actual, what, you're going to use paper? Or is that paper going to be big enough? Or do you want to just do... Um, no, it's not, it's not, it's not tall enough. Yeah. yeah I don't want to, I don't. I, so well, your paint, you can on. probably pick a paint. It, it not, is tall enough. Yeah. I, I, I added a baseboard. You did. It oh, may you work. see the baseboard? That may save you some, you know, just, just adding the paper versus painting. Or look, look, if look, you look, had, look, yeah. Look, like look. A, there, you see the baseboard? Yeah. Okay. So what you could do though is you could you could run that through a printer that just uh, that kind of gave you some grayscale that makes it look a little bit more like it has um, texture to it. If you wanted it to look a little bit more textured, and not just like you know flat paper paint, you know, to make it look like it as a textured wall. Yeah. Hmm. I was like, I have some. Some embossing folders, but it's not. It won't. It won't. Ha, it doesn't have the texture that to that scale. They're yeah. bigger. Yeah. These are actually they're they're not what I need. They have these. Oh, that would be cool on the corner of of, of the of the wall. What do you think, Jerry? I seen the guy that was trying to paint the, yeah, uh-huh. I think, yeah, oh, that would be so cool. That's That'd a good cool idea, too, to use some of your stencils to just create a very light texture on your mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, I think that would be. And I could use double-sided yeah, tape to put it on, and when I, when I feel like it, I could take it off. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like I it, like it, like it. Uh, see how that works out. And since it's paper, but if I don't like it, I can just take it off. Exactly. Instead of having to repaint it. See how all these colors. <laughs> Nothing else looked right. Excuse me. There we go. And these would look nice on there too. My butterfly pictures. Look. Oh, I love that. Yeah, with the color. Oh, it does. Oh my gosh, that is coming together. Yay! So, I know. Now, now these lamps are work. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I don't want to spend my whole life doing this, but this one tree is driving me crazy. I just can't stand it. It just I needs, I just needs make... something. I can't seem to give it right now. I don't know what you want from me, Dree. I don't know what you want. <laughs> I like to be that. alive. I want to be a tree. Rug. You got me too, looking like a kid painted you. I know. I like the little area rug. Huh? Idea. The little yeah. area rug idea to put on New Year. Mm -hmm. I do too. So I'm doing the lamps now. I want to put like, like a tray on top of the dresser. Mm -hmm. Like for change or something? Oh my gosh. This is great. This is getting better and better. And then the the the, the painting that I'm I'm gonna add to this little guy here. Mm -hmm. And then I have to I have a lot of good color in it. It really work is. on that door. Now that, that now that I know that that I might do um stain on a door to to because this brown stain looks nice. I think the stain's going to look really good with that yellow. Yeah. 
So the, the bronze stain looks nice against okay, the Okay, so um, maybe from a distance, if we get really far back, <laughs> way back, let me see. My if, middle if, thing, I don't know why. If anybody is, is trees, getting but, that close to your, 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 your miniatures, tell them to step back. I know this, yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's water, but it's like moving fast. It's got white water. And it's got these little trees. Hi, Larry. Yeah, throw it on the edge. And he's back. And he's back. And you see my little painting I made? Just a little painting. And, the, and this is like a really cool river, mountain river. Uh, and it's got... Um, I don't I don't like this, this, these shades. Going to have some uh, white water going through there. Or just whoosh do. around that around that hill. I mean, around that turn. And this is a lot of fun to go to go uh, kayaking on. It's very, very dangerous. Very, I'm very... Let me make little? them a different material. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the, the glue... Where I put the super glue, mm -hmm. it's, it's ugly. No. No. Oh, no. So I've got to figure out what to do about that. Yeah. Because the, the, the double sided tape doesn't work. Look neat. Because here's, here's how it would look. I need some more contrast in my rocks. They were looking kind of boring. So I I'm putting this more black just to give a little bit more. Uh, yeah. Oh, that came off the top too. Jeez. Not, not that I, I need to, to to find a different type of glue. Um. Yes, mate. You can move in, but it'll be five hundred dollars a month. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, and that's not including meals. That's funny. It's it's your new Airbnb. And 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 you can only watch Hallmark movies on the TV. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, I'm just loving the idea of having your TV set up in there. So now I did see somebody make their cat room. Did you see the cat room that somebody cat made room. under their stairs where they had a TV going? For, they had their iPad going for their cat. No, I've, I haven't seen that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had set like a TV up on the. I mean, an iPad up on the wall so the cat could watch TV. You know, they had the cat channel. The, the, it's like the, it's like birds and squirrels and all these videos for cats to watch. Oh, I'm not in the picture anymore. I'm just like talking. I'm just sitting here talking. Yeah, it's so, yeah, so, 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 our home. show, but I'm sitting here showing my painting. I just realized nobody's seen my painting. There's my painting. And so it's like water that's, uh, yeah, it's a mountain no. mountain thing. It's a mountain thing. Yeah. Annie's on her way home. White water going through there, you know, just not paying attention. Mike whatever. said, "Do you know how to make paper concertina type uh, lampshades, Nancy?" I yeah, can't remember my mom. Kind of challenge that would be. You mean like the um, Tina? Is it like? Um, folded be back in a second all right anyway so there i'm getting and there's my little painting of uh it looks like a bunch of globs nailed it it's, it's and I, you know i needed to have used uh, my favorite product in the world medium because i would have gotten some softer blends instead of so many globs i could have softened it up some but i didn't now i'm going to let me still do that though i'm gonna just a little bit too much. Well, I don't know. My clouds did not really come out like cloudy enough. I'm going to add some to my clouds. See what it comes out with. Favorite floating medium. I'm see. trying to see if I have any other material that I could use for those lampshades. Yeah. Ah, oh, my brush is so dirty. I will right, try with a clean brush this time. And not turn it green. Not that there wouldn't be green in the sky, because you know. Oh, I, okay. He said you pull you you fold the paper somehow, and it comes out of lampshade shaped like a pleated skirt. Yeah. I'm not look into that. That look cool. In. Yeah. I was thinking maybe um I don't have any, but I can get buy some vellum. Uh, you may be able to use, like, do you have any corrugated paper? Yeah. Hey, you know those corrugated things you can actually buy that, like, crimps your paper? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen those. 
that that would be great because then you could just crimp your paper up and uh and then so use I, it. I think that the, this plastic is too hard for it to to bend the way i want it to yeah because other other different glues that i used um haven't worked i, I have it all, all over my finger though <laughs> I got super glue all over my finger. Oh no! I think I'm, I, I like that idea of the, of the pleated shade. Yeah. Oh yeah. But the bases are not bad. I get the. So the, imagine, imagine, imagine. Oh, you know what else I need to do on on these um little nightstands? Huh. A miniature doily. Oh my gosh! Yes. Oh no! Oh no! She's gonna sit there and whip out a. Are you got a paper doll, or you gonna crochet one up? That would oh, be. I cute. have some some red paper doily I can cut and paint. Mhm. Mm Cause here we go. There's there's the lamps. Well, I, I need to make some some little cups or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah like I'm, I'm, sitting there. Oh my gosh, a little tea set. Yeah, because huh? they're like sitting having a little tea, watching TV, reading their book. I, I, yes. I, I can put the, the little um little tray on top of the the trunk. Mhm, mm mhm. But that's uh, you can see. Imagine uh, these are ugly. Don't look at these. They're just standings. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I'm done. I'm there done, or I will just go nuts painting that. Clay nuts and nap. But yeah, they made this thing, um, Mike, that you like crank and uh, it makes a crimp. And and you, you I used to have it. one. Yeah, and that would that be was, cool because you can make a nice twenty light. years ago. But yeah. Wait. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then I, I was going to put like this round one with my name on it with one of these butterflies right over here on this wall. You can't mm -hmm. see it. I was thinking because I have this space above the windows here to get some like these smaller frames to put something over the windows because you got that, that empty space above the window over here. One there and one over here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And there. And what were these going to be? I was going to put some some pictures in there. Mm -hmm. Probably some family pictures or something. Uh, that's too high for family pictures. That's too high. So yeah. No, and family pictures are yeah. There's there's like all these rules like we're decorating. <laughs> <laughs> like family picture, like uh, they should be in intimate areas, you know, like your bedroom. Hallways are fine, but not, you're not supposed to put them in public areas like the living room or whatever. But most people did. I mean, that's just what you do. And I then, have in my living room. Uh, and and uh, then it's, 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 there had to be like somewhere eye level, you know, definitely want to keep them low or low, like you're sitting, that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's like, different kind of like art or something like that but where something cool like architectural would be better at a higher level okay. we see your house um well you know the brick is so pretty you know you did so much well, on the brick how can you cover it up too yeah because think about it are you going to put any kind of canopy on your bed too i don't know yet i haven't found anything that I, that I, that would work with it yeah because all, all the, the soft fabric that I have, are, the scale is too big. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, to, don't want to put any tool. Oh, no. I got to repaint my painting. Ugh. Jerry. So, I'll be having one of these here. I got to get a magnet for it. Because mm -hmm. this, this is from the living room. The bat the butterflies the, or something else. The, the photographs that I that I have now, uh -huh. I, I took them off the living room wall. Okay. So, I, I'm I'm gonna make some new ones for over there. But yeah, if you're gonna do like a poor you know family stuff, you need to have it like on the bedside tables and things like that. So it'll be small, you know, frames. Oh, that'd be cool. A, a little uh -huh. little five by seven on the nightstand. Mm hmm. 
gosh, I bought some uh, jewelry that findings that make really cute little ovals and stuff would make really cute miniature pictures like that. You know, from I, ha I, have a, I had a charm bracelet that I had a picture frame in it. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm not sure where that charm bracelet went. Of course. But if you go to Hobby Lobby when they're having one of their good sales. Oh, yeah. If, yeah. If you catch that stuff that you want on sale that week. But they, it'll be gone sale the next week if not. Okay, go out there and get an idea of what you're looking for. But yeah, you can find some cute little charms that look like uh, little picture frames. That yeah. Tiny picture frames. I'll, I'll look into that. I just dropped this face down. I know. Nice. Okay, so other than me having to touch it up because I painted gold on there. There, my little okay. gold fancy frame. You could do a lot more with it. I just, that's about all the time I had because it's 425. We're still playing this one. Yeah. <laughs> I did pick up some much easier stuff to work with. Uh, for me, I think it's going to be easier. And <laughs> it's, uh, this was, I thought this would be something fun to work with because it's something you could do, like just easy, you know, fun little projects you do with the kids to make little things like for Barbies and things like that to have fancy pictures. Now, you can print out a picture. You do not have to sit here and paint something. Believe me, you might not want to do that part. <laughs> might say he'll be right back. Dang. Now, to make it even more interesting, I want to put, I do want to put my, um, so I'm going to try and, and do that texture on the, on that paper uh -huh. and see how it looks. And the good thing about it, I can do it and, and just put, put it up against the wall. And if it doesn't look right, I can just take the paper off. That's exactly right. It's not glued, it's not glued down or painted on. That's right. Nice. Ooh, everything's falling about me. Here we go. Put this one here. I think I need to push my darks. You see, I don't have enough room for all this stuff. Well, I um I have spread I out have, into every. The sad thing is, I have so much space manageable, and I still don't have room. It's like I have so much space, but it's like everything is covered up. Paint, 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 lid. I want my yeah. lids, Jerry. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab the camera so you can get a little closer to that that wall that I just put the paintings on. There we go. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's going to be so cute. Especially popping off of that yellow. And there's the... I like that the little, a lot. The little lamp. A lot. The little I lamps. Uh-huh. The lamps are great. Yeah. That was such a cute idea. I still have to sew in the, the edges of the, of, the, of the pillowcase. I guess you... Well, let me think. Okay, here we go. We're going to get a closer look. I'm just thinking about stuff like, what can you do... There's a TV fabric lamp for make them stiff. I guess you could use a one like some kind of fiber, you know, wonder under type, you know, oh, it's sizing. So not sizing. What's the word? The stuff that you put to make your fabric thick. Yeah, there you go. Not sizing. And on the TV, I put I use chalk paint on the inside, mm -hmm. and I use a, I use a glossy paint on the frame, so you can see it. Oh, I can move the uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yay. Brilliant. There you, there you go. I love it. I love that. It looks like a TV. It's amazing. You know what I'm going to do? The thumbnail that I'm going to put for my for, for this collab? Yeah. I'll put it on the, on the screen. Okay. Oh, cute. Oh, my gosh. You're I'll, be so smart. I'll be watching YouTube on my, on my TV. That <laughs> is adorable. That is going to be adorbs. All right, so right now I'm just really slathering on the Mod Podge because I wanted to have a texture to it. Hey, Liz! Liz just joined us. Liz! Hi, Liz. We're about to wrap it up, girl. You have to go back and watch. So I worked on uh, uh, well, playing mostly, but I worked on a frame that was really easy to make. I just used a little piece of, um, of this little oh, wood chalk yeah. board and then all these little foam pieces. I just kind of cut up to give it some texture around there. 
and then I painted. And right now it's covered with Mod Podge because I want it a flat Mod Podge. I just want it to have more texture to it to look a little more like a real painting. But yeah, and I right just here, where, where this out. painting is going to go when you slide it open, I'm going to add this little butterfly frame. Mm hmm. So when the painting is closed, you can still have something on that you wall. Are, yeah, absolutely. So at our lake house, we have a quilt. Our neighbor has a security light that literally you can read by. And mm -hmm. so we had to put up something massive to block out light. And I just had found this old quilt that was made out of bark cloth. I mean, you don't see many bark cloth quilts, I'm just saying. And so I definitely want to show it off. So that way I got to do two things. I got to show off my quilt and we made something kind of like that, that covers up the window so that your, um, blocks out that light at night. But I do take it off during the day. You have to open it back up because I don't want it to fade out anymore. And it will do that. I'm but not going to keep all these Nancy Drew books here. I just put them have some have stuff behind it. So whenever you have it closed, you have things to look at. What's your ear, Nancy Drew? Yeah, those just did turn out really, really big. But like, that's weird. Yeah. The different sizes. It's like you need one in between. Which, which is um, with the with the with this size, I can I can reduce it and still um, keep the quality. Yes, the you can. You can with the little one really to quality. enlarge it. It would have probably lost a lot of. Um, it would have lost some of its details. That's mm -hmm. true. Isn't it cute? Isn't that room? I love this room. It is amazing. It yeah, really yeah. is so sweet. And this floor is um, peel and stick tile from Dollar Tree. I, and it was like a sheet, like a big sheet or little pieces. It, it was um, like an eight by eight sheet. Okay. Yeah. Great. So that's pretty so easy I, to work I had with. To, I had to piece it right here, which it's, it's, it's seamless when you um, piece it together. Right. I, don't, I can't even see it. Yeah. And then piece it over yeah. here. Nice. Very uh, nice. I, I'm I'm gonna look into the pleated shades for the for the lamps. Yeah. I mean you can still use that like as your framework. And it could like to attach it to if you needed to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that I love that idea for maybe mm, I don't know. The I think you could do something fun with that for like like you're talking about chandelier or some kind of ceiling light, something like that. But it was kind of hard to work with as far as the drawers are amazing. Look at her liner. She put a drawer liner, 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 liner on it. So you use like a little toothpick or skewer or dowel or something to make your little, um, to attach your, your no, beads? No. Mm -hmm. I, I just filled the beads up with glue, the hole. Yeah. And then just glued that to the, to the, to okay, the okay. With, with wood glue. And that worked out good. This is, this is my favorite one, Liz. The blue suitcase. I know. That is so I like the, the plaid lining. I do like that. Don't mind all the glue on my fingers. I know. <laughs> we're, we're talking about that earlier, Liz, how we get so nasty. Our hands are just covered with glue. And, and we're watching all these videos, and they're so neat. And I, I think they're lying to us. I think they really have glue, and they're just stopping to go clean up their mess. I think so. Mm-hmm. So it still has a few more steps to go before the final. Yes, dry. I'm going to hit this with the dryer real quick. Oh, we're oh, so, oh, we we running a little late. Hang on. I can see why now that the people sell those houses for so much. And some people um, don't sell them enough to, to recoup their money. Because I spent what? Who knows how many hours on this thing? Because if if I if I try to pay myself ten dollars an hour, so far I've had what fifty um, hours on it. That's yeah, so there's my, my page is a little bit better now. It'll it still got a film on it from where it needs to dry, but yeah. So oh, that's, that's cool. little, now this is a fun one. It's not super fancy, but it gives you an idea of what you can get, get yourself bigger so you can see it better. Well, I can do that for you too. <laughs> yeah. There. Uh, oh, yeah. So good. it's just, yeah. That's but not this bad. is still drying. Yeah, it's still drying. The, so you still see the white film. But it's uh, it's gonna, it needs to cure because I need to quit 
the key to this is let, let your stuff sit there and dry. Let it dry. It will do so much better if it yes, dries. It <laughs> Yeah, all you messing with it, not helping at all. Well, guys, we have run long today, but we had a good time. You see, it just takes time. These little projects. Now, I will say, I'm going to give big kudos to you. You covered a lot today. You got <laughs> two pillows made. You got um, the sewed on your sewed on your quilt, and you made with pixels. What else did you do? It's like you did a lot. I covered the mattress. Yeah, covered the, uh, yeah, she, oh yeah, put the sheets on the mattress, so she got all that done. Me, I just I played need, with the toys. I need to, I'm probably going to untack it here on this side over here and pull it down a little bit like it's um, unmade a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah, I like to fold it down some. Mm -hmm. I know we can show your sheets off, yeah. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to do that. That's why I use hot glue, because the hot glue, just, oh, I, I didn't even have to heat it up, look. It's yeah, already. it's already a little bit loose. At least it'll hold it down in place. I'm going to put some fingerprints in my thing. It gives it some brush strokes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, don't pick up paint, though. You don't want to do that. Something oh, like no. this. How's that look? Just pull oh, that's cute. Bit. Yes, that is so cute. It's, it's so... Oh, it's the... the, the this I, uh, I like the... um. Your book sitting like, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, you need a little cat or something to go on your bed. I got I got a sitting cat. My cat's huge, though. <laughs> My yeah. cats are massive. Look. Well, I mean, really? Some people have big cats. She's little. That's a big old cat. Come here, you cougar. Oh, my girl. Go. My girl. My girl needs some love. She really needs some love. I like it going down a little bit like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Kind of squish your pillows in like they're, you know, somebody's been sitting there. Yeah. Once I sew the tops off, they'll look better. It's, look, it's probably too big, but hey, I'll try one. Hold on. Ah, Lee. I love her dresser. She did a great job on that. Chest of, chest, dresser or just chest of drawer? Okay, so my favorite thing today is Chester of drawer. I said that sounded like I was looking up. I'm looking for a cabinet to put my one of my dollhouses on. So mm -hmm. I was looking for um, a chest, a chest of drawers, and someone had put Chester of drawer. I said that sounds like some noble title. I'm the there Chester of drawer. A, a, a book on the bed. Yes, there it is. There it is. That's great. That looks really good. Fun. She has had more fun making this, and we have had so much fun being part of it. You know I what? Look. I don't think I have to glue it. It just it stayed right there. Yeah. Yep. Good. Yay. Even better. I'm going to try something real quick. I'm going to see if I can take this paint off of this doll and this porcelain doll head. It'd be nice if I could. That way I can just start from scratch. I hate to do that to somebody who works so hard on it. But yeah, it's got, let me show you. It's got a little, what? There it is. If I find something that, that I like for the bed, I probably do it on on the front post like, here, like draping down. Do what? If I find the right material that I, mm -hmm. for, for this, I probably drape something here on the front post. I think a little, just a little drape would be really sweet. Mm -hmm. I do think that would look good versus the whole the whole thing being done. Up. Yeah, I'm sure I have something in my stash somewhere. Oh yeah. Yeah, so these are baked on, but I think I can still kind of cover them over some. Let me see if I can sand some of that off. Hi, Tracy. Hey, oh, hi, Tracy. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we are wrapping it up. So you have to do hashtag replay some of the stuff that we did. So today I worked on a little painting and just a little painting. I made a frame out of, I took a little chalkboard of a clip thing from Dollar Tree and I covered it with foam. I just had all these like foam flowers Please. and I just stuck them on 
Yeah, just like this. And then I painted, a, and I just glued them, I painted them red first, then go, we won't talk about what I really did, but then I painted them <laughs> red, yeah, and wait for everything to dry, which I didn't do, red, and then a dark red, and then gold. And that really makes the gold pop, then it looks a lot richer, more, you know, worn, and then uh, I just painted my old painting in there of something. I just painted it. But no, we, we have to let things dry for sure. Or you will have a, just the devil pay if you don't. <laughs> I'm seeing if I can get some of these. Tape the, the other painting over here. Oh, yeah. It's not easy. Not easy to get off. Okay. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Once I um, sew the pillows up, mm -hmm. I will do a quick um, video on the room. Oh, yay. And also, we would love, you know, more people, if you turned in light, tuned in late, please participate in our Tiny Treasure, or your take on Tiny Treasures. It's going to be on May 28th. You can check our Instagram accounts. We both posted on those. All right, and if you'd like to join our chat, be sure you contact either one of us or leave a message in either, either uh, in the comments below for us to add you on there, and we can do that for you as well. And that way you will be up to date on what's going on because we post things like what we're working on for our miniatures and things like that. And what we yeah. see other people to give you some ideas. Yeah. We really have no hard rules about this. Just something you really love to do, only smaller. So you don't have to have a dollhouse. You don't have, if you like, um, you can do something, uh, any scale. You can do, if you're kind of doing something for a doll, which is a really fun thing to do because everybody's, know somebody that's got a doll and you may want to do like a gift and do something for an 18 inch doll or barbies or blythe or whatever kind of things you work on but some kind of accessory for them yeah you can I mean, I know, we have, I have a lady that uh her name is tapping flamingo she does jewelry for dolls which is like been this this small just one little item yeah that was a that was a cute little thing that, that was a that was a booger i know yes because Nancy yeah, wasn't using wood glue. All right, so I am able to at least sand some of it down that I can make a few changes in her appearance. So oh, these are going to be cute. Yeah, I like these little girls. Now, now I have to go go find um, some cool spots for all my new goodies. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah so that was um, one of my things was getting the barn kind of straightened up so I can get all my woodworking stuff together. I mean, my little doll making stuff. Oh, my light is so bright today. Okay, maybe I turn that up too. Can I turn it down a little bit? I'm yeah, so to, that try, was, uh, to try to make a basket with this. Yeah. So that's that's why I found that, and then I found more. So I sent you some because I was so excited about it because you could do rushing for your rushing. Is that the right word? For your seats, for like a chair, like do, do something like this, but for real, because this is not, this is like made up, but you can mm -hmm. actually weave your seat, you know, and that kind of, and you like, so you can untwist it and tear it, make that, make it smaller if you needed it. And it'll still have enough memory that you can retwist it. So just some ideas. I thought you could have some fun with that, but definitely the basket thing would be fun. Steve just got, Steve, Steve, we were wrapping it up. Me. But we were just on all the fun things we've done. Um, I did work on a frame. She worked on a whole bunch of stuff. So if you get a chance, do kind of go back and check in the replay. And we are so glad you're here, though, and that you popped in. You, 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 well, you got to see that the TV I added to my room, um, Steve. Oh, show the TV. Yeah, I got to show the TV because he <laughs> would love that. He would love that. That is, that's pretty cool. That's dang clever right there. Let's see. I gotta look this this way. I move the camera. Let's move the camera down a little bit. There we go. And that way. And we uh -huh. have this painting that I will be painting something on it. It won't stay that white. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have you slide it and there's a TV behind it. But wait. You can turn it that way. That's the best part. That's the cool. You can turn it this way while you're in bed. And then I will, I will be painting the walls, not painting, I, I'm adding some, some paper to the walls with some texture. We'll see how that works out. And finishing the lamps. Yeah, they're so great. And they can make little clothes to go in there. <laughs> make some teeny tiny clothes to fit in your teeny tiny drawers. Only tiny panties. I'll probably yeah. make them out of paper and fold them. 
<laughs> I know that. It, I mean, yeah, because you can do those origami shirts. Have you seen this a pattern for how to do an origami shirt? It looks like it came from. Well, the I, I've done an origami dress, so. Yeah, there you go. I just, I, I just gotta scale it down. Oh wow! I just realized this. This guy's paint's coming off of him, huh? I may be able to actually. I, I will be making a, probably a um a blanket or something to put inside the the trunk. I know that, and they have it kind of spilling out. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I, I love adding, it. I will be adding a, a, a little area rug. Uh huh. So Are I you going to make like a little braided, like a little wrap? You know what I mean? A braided rug or something? Or what are you going to use? I've never made one, but I could try to look into I think one. You should do that, like a little rag rug. But or, or you don't have to use rag, you know, because you can use like um, uh, floss, you know, and just and do that and then just mm -hmm. tie, you know, sew it together to make it a. So you can do something simple like, like that. It's the right scale. I know I need to make some of those. Yeah. I don't like this guy. He's so sad looking. I have so many little weird projects over here. But anyway, I got to run, guys. But I so enjoyed y'all being here. And oh my gosh, as always, how much do I love Nancy? We have a good time together. We get I am so inspired Oops. by all that she does. She's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I need to, I need you to, 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 to call that kind of a trunk or an okay. So that I would call a trunk an ottoman. My I something that kind of goes in front of your chair that you put your feet on. Plus, ottomans don't always have storage, do they? But I would say a trunk always is something for storage. Mm -hmm. See, my trunk is massive. My trunk's really big. It's the dollar. <laughs> I got it at the Dollar Tree. It's really huge. It's like oh, five is back. Really? Oh, Bobby. Oh, my gosh. So I am wondering if I can, I may pop that off and make it smaller or not. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, just pop it off and make this the lid. Because this thing is massive. Might, I, I might commission you to do my painting for my bedroom. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. You need to look at this one a little closer. Just saying. Well, it's kind of looking like a painting now that it's drawing. But yeah, that's really big. I think that's way too big for what I wanted to do with it. It's getting better. Now yeah, that the uh, Mod Podge is kind of drying on it, it's actually mm -hmm. kind of, it's looking more like a painting of what I don't know. It's like, I think it's funny as far as the design goes, because you've got the three things and the two in the middle. So you've got like a pattern going across the front. <laughs> but it's supposed you're, you're in the woods. So from here, it looks like it's an abstract. Up close, you're on, yeah, it's trees and little mountains in the background, a little bit of sky and some water, white water flowing in the back. There you go. Mountain river going through there. Okay. We just got to go. Bye, everybody. Oh, Thanks maybe. for coming. Thanks for sticking around. I you my face. Keep <laughs> us going. We always appreciate it. Just keep us going. That's all we need. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Can you see my head? Oh, no, I didn't.